Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here at Tiger Stadium for the home opener for the Texas High Tigers. Eric Aiken, along with my man Zach Doty for the pregame show tonight. And so we want to get you all set up. Zach, welcome to the broadcast. Yes, sir. It feels good. Uh, kind of used to uh, Decimal Doty there at the end. But here we are <laughs> for the pregame show as we wait for Billy to come up from his uh, pregame festivities. Yep, so uh, Brian Bolt uh, usually is going to be joining us. He'll be joining us the rest of the season as he's out of town. And uh, we'll be talking a little bit more about him as they've had a new baby. And so we'll look forward to later on the broadcast showing you that uh, tonight as well as uh, Texas High Tigers here tonight uh, as we stated their home opener uh, against Colleyville Heritage Panthers. The Panthers have driven over from Irving, Texas, uh, and made the long trip down I-30 to make their way over to this a beautiful stadium on a beautiful night here in Texarkana. And uh, so, you know, to get you started, just want to set up the game a little bit, talk about some players, got a lot of newcomers, you know, for Texas High coming into uh, tonight. Got a new quarterback. Uh, some of you guys remember him from last year as a receiver, but they moved him in at quarterback, which is Cody Reese. Had a great outing last week at AT&T Stadium. Uh, as the Tigers came up short uh, against... Uh, Frisco Lone Star, 38 to 33, but Cody had a great night that night, uh, going 17 for 32, 53% on completion percentage and 278 yards with two touchdowns, one of those being a uh, passing touchdown and a running touchdown. But a uh, few keys to the game, Dodie, kick us off with uh, how you feel about tonight. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I liked what we saw last week at uh, AT&T Stadium, especially against a bigger school, a better school. Um, Came in thinking that possibly we could lose by 17 or more. Uh, but to only lose by five, I think uh, the Tigers and Coach Stanford should be very happy with where this program is and uh, how we can continue to grow. Uh, like you said, Cody Reese, uh, new starting quarterback, dual sport athlete, also a starting baseball player yep. here uh, in the springtime. Uh, definitely see that with his arm. He played, at, played out at catcher a lot during the season. And so um, I'm excited to see him uh, continue throughout the year and uh, definitely has uh, hopes to be probably the best quarterback in town. And probably the biggest thing for the Tigers this year is that defense bringing back uh, they've, they've got a lot of starters that they're having to replace from last year. Uh, of course, we know that Derek Brown is off at Texas this year. But uh, I think you and I were talking about before we went on the air, you feeling like Ian Kreit's going to have a good year this year. Yeah, Ian Kreit has been the main person that I can see from that defensive line, especially right, right, lined up right next to Brandon Childs, who I also think will have a great year. But Ian Kreit, we saw two years ago, Clayton Smith. Derek Brown kind of filled in that spot of Clayton. Derek Brown is gone now, and I think Ian Kreit can fill in that spot just perfectly. Being a long guy, they, you know, Texas High and Coach Hawk and Coach Wilson, more Coach Hawk because he's, uh, he's the defensive line coach as well as uh, co-DC with Coach Wilson. Uh, he loves those guys that are really long on that defensive end position. But I'll tell you another guy that we were visiting about earlier, which is Donnie Grissom, moved over from running back to uh, middle linebacker, played really, really well last year, record, or last week, recording eight tackles uh, in the game last week. And what I like about that move is as a running back mindset, I think it translates to that middle linebacker because you know what the running back's looking for because that's what you've done. So you can sometimes stuff the hole uh, and read the play a lot quicker. Exactly. He got a lot bigger in the offseason. Uh, he put on a lot of muscle. And like you alluded to, seeing those holes like a running back, knowing where his next move will be and understanding that is huge uh, for that uh, run defense. Staying on the defensive side of the ball, final player we'll talk about is C.J. Brown coming back uh, as a returner. Uh, had six tackles last week uh, to start off the season. Got him at free safety. I look for him to be a, a big leader in that deep deep side of the defense, on the back side of the defense, uh, to really get those new guys uh in place and where they need to be and like like we talked about last week that second half was a totally different team from the first half uh for the tigers yeah like you said uh, fresh new secondary um i really want to see cj brown out there kind of 
being the leader of this defense uh, in that secondary and kind of uh, helping his guys pick up their heads even when they make mistakes. So moving to uh, Colleyville, we've kind of we've done a little bit of research. We don't know a lot about them. Uh, some things that I read on, I know they only have two returning starters uh, to this team from last year's team. I'll say that they've moved down from Division One to Division Two, Five A. So for the Tigers tonight, this is a huge test. I think not for just them as a team, but for postseason down the road, early in the season. I got to respect uh, Coach Stanford's. Uh, strengthening up schedule this year to get us ready for uh, the for, for district as well as for the playoff run but Weston Smith is their quarterback uh, highly recruited you were talking about uh, possibly going to Florida State but ended mm -hmm. up going somewhere else yeah he, he got an offer from uh, Florida State from coach Norvell but uh, he has uh, decided to pursue his future at Princeton yeah. uh, obviously a bunch of knowledge there and uh, We'll see how we can translate to the football field and uh, making the right reads and uh, making the right play calls for his yeah. team. And, you know, besides the senior quarterback, majority of their guys on the offensive line as well as around all of their receivers, uh, starting receivers, are juniors. So I, you're looking into not just this year, but – you look at we're going to play them again next year, and all we're going to see most of those guys coming back besides their quarterback. And so when you have that kind of depth, uh, it's crazy. On their roster, they literally have three different kickers. <laughs> and so to have go three deep in the kicking game, that's pretty special in Absolutely. a place like that. So, But uh, on the defensive side of the ball for them, um, I, you know, I'm going to go with Jaden Bland, the junior. I think the middle linebacker is the quarterback of the defense, uh, and I think that's going to be a, a player to watch uh, for tonight. Yeah, a guy that really stands out to me was Garrett Finley. He was named first team all district uh, last year for this Colley Field defense. And so I kind of want to see what he can do and kind of lead that defensive line. Yeah, it's Colleyville Heritage. I know Good several of you from Colleyville are watching tonight because you got the uh, – uh, the feed from us, and so we want to make sure that you guys have that uh, as well. We're going to try to call as fair a game as we possibly can as the Colleyville Panthers uh, from Heritage uh, get ready to run out of the tunnel, and they have the loudest train <laughs> horn in Texas this year, I think. Yeah, I don't I don't think that should be legal, but, I mean, here we are. Uh, hopefully we won't let them score enough to where we have to hear it all night. <laughs> uh, I do know this. They hung 61 last week uh, on uh, – uh, Nimitz and Nimitz, and they only gave up five to Nimitz, which will be a safety and a field goal. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how the Tigers respond as as well as Colleyville because they really weren't tested last week, and I think Texas High was tested. But as we've said before in seasons past, the biggest jump you see in a season is from week one to week two, and so you look for both teams uh, to be a lot better this week in comparison to last week. And I see a lot of similarities between yes. this year's team and last year's team. Last year we started off against uh, Tyler, and uh, we, we had a lot of penalties, lots and lots of penalties, and that kind of uh, shot us in the foot against uh, Frisco last week too. And so I think if we can clean up penalties, that will absolutely help a lot. You know, I talked to uh, Coach Toon earlier this week. We were texting a little bit, and I just said, hey, what are some thoughts? And he said, if – if we can play that well and come out scoring that many points with as many penalties and mistakes as we had that they saw, we're going to be fine this year. So, you know, outside of those things, I think he was really, really pleased with how the kids played and responded, especially in the big environment like AT&T Stadium. You know, you tell high school kids all the time, it's the same size field, it's the same size everything, it's just walls of stands around you. But the problem at and the, and the good part of AT&T is you've got this massive thing called a screen above you that goes from 30 to 30, and that just makes a, di it makes a different environment for you, and it's indoors. It's just different than being here at Grimm Stadium at Tiger, or at Tiger Stadium at Grimm Park. And, and they looked poised. They really did. I mean, like you uh, said earlier, that first half was a little sloppy. They kind of picked it up in that second half, completely different team. But to be in that environment that they've been in very few times that none of those, these players have been in, uh, to handle it the way that they did, I'm very impressed. And uh, I know that they have high expectations to be there later this year. Well, I know it's just uh, it's just pregame show, but uh, coming up at halftime, we got a little treat for you. I didn't even mention this to you, but uh, Chris Sutton and Chris Lyles are going to join us at halftime, wow. two Tiger legends on the baseball team uh, playing at Southern Arkansas University. And uh, so Chris Lyles was the – GAC MVP uh, tournament MVP for baseball this year. So both of them had great seasons last year as 
as SAU went to the World Series. And so we're going to visit with them at halftime. So we got a little treat for you. The only reason we wouldn't have them is if they don't show up tonight. <laughs> and so they were most likely they were they told me earlier this week they were going to be here. So we invited them up to join us at halftime. So really excited about that as Chris Sutton's brother, Eric, is one on the coaching staff here. So I look for him to at least <laughs> be here for sure. Well, so I, I got the pleasure of watching those two play for Texas High while I was a student here. And yeah. it was it, it always made it amazing to go out and watch those uh, Tigers play. We've had a lot of guys the last few years come out of baseball and really put out big performances out there on the diamond. Yeah. So as we're waiting, uh, both teams are in the tunnels and we're waiting for them to enter the game of play so that we can get this game uh, underway here as Colleyville Heritage looks like they're about to break through and here come the Panthers along with the train horn. So the Panthers have entered the field and it's now we wait on your Texas High Tigers to enter the, the field of play as uh, we're ready to roll as the Tiger King himself who will join us in the booth here in just a little while is down there. He's got the smoke. He's got everything ready. There's nothing like the entrance at Texas High on a Friday night. Got the highlight reel rolling on the scoreboard. One thing that I, one thing that I love that they've added uh, is they have flags for all of the branches of the military this year. Mm. Typically, it's just been our American flags and our Texas flag and our TEXAS. But um, I'm, I'm glad that we can uh, run those out and uh, show support for our military. So here comes the smoke, as we always have. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. And so, ladies and gentlemen, 2022 Texas High Tigers enter the field as we begin the season here at Tiger Stadium. There's nothing like, Doty, there's nothing like America and Texas. <laughs> all in the same, in the same pile there is all of the flags, as you stated, all of our military is represented there uh, as well. Folks will wait on the coin toss as we've got a big cloud of smoke running across. Thank God we have a wind uh, that's going to get it out of here because we've been here before where it kind of hovered <laughs> a little bit and it's hard to see from up here in the press box. Oh, it'll, it'll come closer to October, November time where it just kind of sits there and, yeah. and we'll have to wait. <laughs> yeah. So your captains for tonight for the Texas High Tigers is going to be number 72, John Jack, uh, number two, uh, Chatez Wilkerson, number 95, Brandon Childs, and number 10, Cody Reese. For the visiting Panthers tonight, it's going to be number 71, uh, Jack Frazier, number 16, Cameron Hammond, number 45. It's going to be Samian, Samon, Samon. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's going to be Mr. Davis is what <laughs> we're going to say. And finally, number three, Kev Kevon Connor. So those are going to be your captains for tonight as we wait for the coin toss. And, folks, if you don't know, I don't want to spoil it for you. But most of the time, the coin toss is done by the coaches beforehand. But this is just a formality, uh, as they call it. And uh, so we'll uh, wait and see who's going to receive. It looks like Texas High is going to receive the kick tonight. So Colleyville won the toss. They're going to defer to the second half. And so Texas High offense is going to get the ball first. And so we're about ready to get underway here at Tiger Stadium at Grimm Park. Until Mr. Lavender can get up to the press box, it's going to be Eric Aiken along with Zach Decimal Doty. <laughs> I got to throw that in there. And uh, so we're excited to have him on the on the mic tonight, as well as my wife is with us, and she's offered to do color commentary. So that could be uh, interesting. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. Is that. Did I say that right, honey? Interesting. All right. So excited to have her with me tonight, as always. So it's going to be a fun night tonight as – we were talking before the game. She and I were walking in and talking to some coaches, and she said it feels like forever since we've been to Tiger Stadium. It really does. It's It's been a while. FCA Showdown was the last time that we yeah. were here. So yeah. <laughs> it's good to see familiar places back in the right spot. Yep. So we appreciate you being here for the showdown as well because I know you helped out with that. And uh, uh, So here we go. It looks like back deep for the, uh, for the Tigers is going to be number 32, 
Tradarian Ball, who is a freshman on the team. And so just wanted you to make note of that. He is a special young man. Uh, it takes a special person to be a freshman and to be able to play varsity football as a freshman. Yeah, a freshman running back came out last week, had a, had a touchdown. Uh, yeah. Was was great for the Tigers and what they needed as a as a kind of third spark in that uh, in that backfield. So going to pooch kick it. Brandon Hall going to take it. Number thirteen, Brandon Hall, and he's going to stay on his feet uh, out to the forty-five and going to be brought down at the forty-six yard line. What a run and an athletic move there as uh, the guys thought they had him down. Absolutely great way to start. It's kind of spark your offense there. Uh, one of your receivers kind of staying up, gaining more yards as they need to. So as the Texas High offense enter the field, Cody Reese once again, 53% last week, 17 of 32, 278 yards with two touchdowns, one of those being on the ground as well as one in the air. And uh, so, so it's going to be an official timeout as number 22 for the Panthers. Uh, Brady Fox is shaking up on the play. It looks like it looks like maybe a knee injury or maybe a cramp early. And uh, you hope it's a cramp because they can get over that, not something that would be season ending. Never how you want to start a game, first first game or first play of the game and already having an injury. For us, the ball's going to be spotted on the near hash. It'll be the right hash for the offense. And uh, so Cody Reese steps out uh, with Trent Kelly in the backfield. T.J. Gray split out number one, uh, Brandon Hall, as well as Xavier Dangerfield. Reese is going to get it to Dangerfield. Dangerfield is going to be cut it back up for no gain. He's going to be brought down at the 46-yard line as he has hit hard there, and it looks like they're uh, they're going to play on Dangerfield all night tonight. Yeah, Kayvon Connor right there, the senior number three defensive tackle, came up huge with a with a big hit off that screen, read it perfectly. So we're going to bring up second down and ten on the play after no gain on the pass play. Looks like a little tunnel screen or a little comeback is what they want to do. So Cody Reese is going to hand it off. No, but he's going to pull it and keep it as that defense for Colleyville is going to be stingy tonight and going to be dropped for a two-yard loss on the play, going to bring up third down and 12 on the play. Quick little option play by, there by Reese. Uh, seems like he might have read it wrong, and he even showed some adversity trying to break that tackle there, uh, showing signs of his uh, receiver being a receiver last year being tough. So it's going to be two receivers to Reese's Right, one receiver to the left as Trent Kelly remains in the game at running back. He's going to send Dangerfield in motion, bring him back inside. Reese back to pass. He's got a man over the middle, got Dangerfield over the middle. He's going to get it out to the 50, about to the 49-yard line, going to be brought short of the first down. Is this going to bring up fourth down at the 49-yard line of the Tigers? Yeah, that'll bring us about to fourth and five. Uh, it looks like they're going to go for it here. Yeah, so... I was watching our punter earlier, and they were in the stands, so I have a feeling that's why he's going to do that. So, so we're right, joined I'm now in. in the in the booth with Billy Lavender. Great entrance by the Tigers tonight. Good yeah. job tonight. Quick kick by Cody right here. Yeah. So quick kick it. Oh. He's going to get it over to the sideline. Going to be drop at about the 21-yard line, and it's going to be down there. And so great, great job by Cody Reese. Yeah, right there, uh, what you saw was, uh, you know, Dangerfield caught that ball coming across the middle, and he's about three to four yards from getting the first down. And what you want to see is, especially a big receiver like him, strong, you want to see him cut it up, try to get that first down. But uh, also looks like our gunners on the on the punt team uh, need to be by that ball, just not let it roll back. A couple of yards could hurt you later on in the drive. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's going to bring up first and ten as uh, Weston Smith enters the game for for the Panthers uh, the Princeton commit also had an offer from Florida State from Mike Norville but it looks sounds like he's wanting to go to Princeton it's going to be a handoff to number 23 Good Dorian pursuit Travis by the Tigers and yes, the sir. Tigers are going to drop him in the backfield for a loss a who, huge who loss. was that that was the left side is who that was <laughs> and and great, great pursuit by the right side of the defense but uh and also they kept containment on both sides so there's no cutback lane for him either and uh I'm sure y'all have already said they're going to play fast tonight absolutely it's going to be a fast offense uh, and they're going to be spread it way out as you can see You've got a receiver nearly to the sidelines. That was Boom. really a false start. 
And, uh, man, the Tiger yeah. defense that come out tonight. Too. Man, Dowden yeah. got in there quick. Eric, and uh, and that's what you want to see is uh, is people filling their gaps like that and containment. And this Tiger D looks like they're sitting for the challenge. Third down and 19 for the Panthers as they're going to go trips to the left and uh, back to pass being pursued. Going to drop it over the middle. And uh, wow. it's going to be an incomplete pass. Going to bring up fourth down and long for the Panthers. Good defense, man. You had Tim Austin back there. And uh, and also on coverage looked like uh, Josh Stewart. And, man, I'll tell you what, you can't, uh, you know, fourth and 20 looks like. Fourth and 16, 17. But, uh, man, and they're punting out of their own end zone. That's what you want to see by the Tiger D stepping up for the challenge. So that it pass was intended for Pruitt. Uh, number 10 for the Panthers. Back to punt is going to be Bryce Cottle as back deep for the Tigers is the freshman, number 32, Ball. And he's going to have it's a chance returnable. to return it. And uh, that is not what you want to do if you're the Panthers because this kid can go. All right. He's going to get a great, All right. great return and going to be inside of Panther territory out at the 30. They're going to mark it at probably the 30. Looks like the... 36-yard line. And you don't get too many true freshmen that are returning the ball like that. When he saw a lane, he took it, and he, he tried to go north and south to get upfield and get as many as he could. Now we're in now we're in positive territory. You know, Billy, we talked about in pregame that this is a great test for the Tigers as they were Division One last year, dropped to Division II, uh, pretty good football team. And uh, so it's, I'm anxious to see how we come out uh, and respond tonight. Going to put Javari Johnson in the backfield along with – uh, the freshman ball, as it's going to be a split back set, going to hand it off to Ball. Ball's yep. going to be pursued from behind. Man, just had a free release there. Yeah, just didn't get to the hole quick enough. He was trying to wait for something to, to come available, and uh, the backside was really good and uh, and caught him. I tell you what, what I've noticed about Panthers, their their defense so far is the edges are really quick. really fast. Yes, sir. Really fast. So they're going to bring up second down and ten on the play. Cody Reese looks in to get the play. Javari Johnson stays in the game. Going to go trips to the right with Hall, Gray, and Dangerfield split out wide to the wide side of the field. Going to move Javari Johnson to his right. Going to hand it off and run right up the middle, which is where you're going to have to go, I think, all yeah. night tonight with a three-yard gain. Good small hole right there. And, uh, and man, uh, uh, he hit the hole hard and, and got, uh, got some positive yardage. And it's going to put us in, it looks like, third and seven. Third down and seven for the Tigers. Ball spotted at the 34-yard line as we're going to go trips once again to the right with Javari Johnson in the game at running back as Texas High is a stable of running backs once again this year. Uh, going to go screen oh, out to the Hall. Block out there. And, uh, I, TJ Gray missed the block, and if he gets that block, looks like B. Hall may uh, may break it right there and get a first down. But uh, that's just the thing, the little things that you got to do. You got to make those blocks. Everybody's got to do their job. Going to bring Trent Kelly into the game as Javari Johnson runs off and uh, look for a, possibly another quick kick here. We'll see what happens. I don't know. As good as that defense play, they may want to go ahead and uh, and quick kick it here. But uh, you never know. You get get five yards and you got them inside the thirty. But uh, I don't know. Like one on one out here on the matchup. That's what we're gonna do. Yep. There he is. And he is oh, held. Oh, that's all a hold. Yep. Good call. Yeah. It's gonna be a defensive holding. Clearly held on to his back. And, and, and when I say good call, that means. I'm rooting for the Tigers, Eric, just in case you didn't know. I'm going to try to call it fair, but uh, but I am rooting for the Tigers. But uh, great but cut tomorrow by. you're rooting for who? Tomorrow I'm rooting for the Arkansas oh, Razorbacks. Razor <laughs> As they play Cincinnati tomorrow. Drinking that Razor A, baby. Yeah, so that's going to be – should be a 15-yard penalty there. It will be a first down no matter what, and that's the main thing. And uh, I don't think they're going to give him 15 uh, – as a student section yells, you can't, you can't do, do that. that. And, and you can, they're wrong. You can do that. It's just it's a penalty. <laughs> we'll let them do that all night hey, as long as they throw the flag. Hey, how about the early gamble by Coach Stanford right there and Coach Toon calling a play uh, that gets, like I said, TJ had one-on-one -on -one out here, and he gets in the middle, and all that, all that DB could do was – hold him or wrap around him to get in front of him and a perfectly played let's not kid ourselves it was a perfectly placed ball by Cody the only pl person that could have caught it was TJ so as we wait for the official 
So he's got an unsportsmanlike yeah. conduct on the Panther been bench. Done it all game. <laughs> <laughs> Cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. So going to move it even more down the field. So it's going to bring up first and ten. Ball is going to be at the uh, 13 yard line of the Panthers as Texas High just gained about 25 yards, free yards. We got uh, some with 6.51 left here in the first quarter. Going to hand it off, going to pull oh, it. Oh, missed right and, there, it's uh, okay. It's going to be, Cody, here, here's the Cody's going to be tackled it, in the backfield. As I say, it was a misread, but it was actually a great play by the defensive end because he actually stayed out and made Cody keep the ball because if he would have handed that off, he was sitting in, in uh, right in perfect position. So it was really a better play by the, by the defensive end than it was uh, a misread by Cody. Texas High constantly running in, running backs, back and forth. Going to put TJ out to the to the right side. Gray out to the right, along with Brandon Hall. To the left, going to be Xavier Dangerfield, along with Trent Kelly in the backfield. Going to get yes. it out to Dangerfield. He's going to Go. make a move, and it's going to be He's touchdown, Tigers. That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, man, I was wanting to mention Coach Eric Sutton and what a great job he does with those running backs. But – what, what it does is when you have a guy out there like Dangerfield who can who can press the deep ball, it forces them to play off the ball. And so they're playing off the ball 10 to 12 yards. We're going to just nickel and dime it to him. He's too strong for the, their defensive backs. So in the punt, or excuse me, in the kick for the point attempt after is going to be Francisco Perez as we meet him for the first time here at Tiger Stadium. Cody Reese on the hold as well as Pilgreen Good on snap. the deep snap. Kick is up and the kick is... Good. good. Nothing wrong with a good snap, good hold, and good kick. And we got Paul Beard down there on the air horn, and he's hammer time. <laughs> with 6.05 left here in the first quarter, Texas High leads 7 0. We'll be right back after these messages. We are excited to announce here at Texture County Emergency Center and Hospital that we have expanded our capabilities to better serve our community. As a hospital, we have the capability for inpatient services. After your outstanding emergency care, we can smoothly transition you into one of our new inpatient rooms that have telemetry monitors in every room to continue your concierge medicine care. While our patients continue receiving their care in their inpatient suites, we also make sure that your loved ones are taken care of with our outstanding facilities. Our added services include a procedure room and also the capability of MRIs. With our imaging, we are able to offer outpatient, inpatient, and emergency room, MRI, CT, ultrasound, and x-ray. We are honored by your support and look forward to serving all your future medical needs. Perez on the kick, going to be fielded at the three-yard oh, wow. line. Yes. And uh, had a lane, but it closed up really Danger quick. Field. On the return is going to be. Who is this it? This guy right here at number two. Is Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan K. That's what I'm talking about. Good, a good run by him. Hey, there was a big hole that they opened up, and Dangerfield closed it and made the tackle. He gets the touchdown, and he gets the tackle back-to-back. Yep. Back. That's what I like to see. So Panthers come on for their second possession of the night after – having negative yardage on their first possession. And uh, there's been a lot of concern about that Tiger defense after last week, but I think week two we look a lot different than we I did like last it. week. Got some new guys in. Got, uh, yes, sir. Boom. Back to pass is going to be uh, Smith, but he's going to have a gain of two laying forward for two. Um, I'm going to check that and go zero yardage on the game. That's it's going to be second about. down and 10. Merriman brings him down, but he's hit first by uh, number 21. And, uh, and man, it was, a, it was a good pursuit by both of them, and the defensive line is coming to play. So we're going to bring up second down and 10 for the Panthers. Going to send 33, Colin Alex Bennett Hines. in motion. Hines on the pursuit. Going to get it away. Got oh, a man wide open. Uh, and it's uh, going to be Pruitt. Get to him. Get to him. Hit the ball. And it's going to be touchdown Panthers as Pruitt is left wide open as he got behind the defense. Yeah, it looked like he got uh, got behind Tim Austin, and I couldn't tell if it was a miscommunication uh, by Austin and C.J. Brown back there, but uh, just kind of left him wide open, and uh, and the rest is history. We wanted that ball back quick, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, so going to bring up 7-6 on the kick for the point attempt after is going to be Zuckert for the Panthers. Good hold, good kick, kick is up, and the kick is good. And so with 5-17, very quickly the Panthers respond 7-7 here in the first quarter. And uh, we want to thank some sponsors tonight, State Bank. Uh, we appreciate those guys for being Absolutely. a part of everything that, that, that we do. My man, Texas. Jay Davis. Yeah, and then we got uh, our scoreboard is going to be Commercial National Bank as well as Texarkana Emergency Center and Hospital. So they've added yeah. a little hospital over there. Yeah, got inpatient hey, care. That, that thing's nice. If you've been over there, I, I needed hope, to go I over hope there. you hadn't had to be in there, but you ought to go by and check it out. Look, uh, Dr. Young and that staff do a great job for Texas County. Not only Texas High, but the, the whole – every team uh, sends players there and stuff when they have problems. But, uh, man, they do a fantabulous job. Also want to thank – Diamond Bank. Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about Man, Diamond listen, Bank. Man, listen, Diamond Bank has the lowest rates. They're slinging loans to everybody in Texarkana. Go by and see my man, George William Lavender, better known as Razorback Billy, <laughs> sometimes Tiger Billy. But go see me and Frank Calter and Brad Prince and anybody there. We'll take good care of yeah. you. Congratulations on the move, by the way. Absolutely. So, Thank you. As Thank well you. as Rocasa. Yeah. And, uh, so they're really – they've blown up, and we're excited to Man, know them as well. No so, doubt. And we'll get to a few more sponsors here in just a little bit as the kickoff is going to be handled by the freshman, and uh, it's going to be down oh. at the two-yard line, nope. and it's going to be Go. going to make a great move, right. but it's going to be brought down at the six-yard line. As Man, great recovery because it could have been a lot worse. Eric, let's go 95. <laughs> Hey, we're trying to do 99 to nothing, right? Beat everybody by 90. <laughs> Are we still doing that? We'll take so, one. Yeah. So here we go. First and 10 at the six-yard line for the Tigers. As with 5-10 left here in the first quarter. Eric Aiken along with Billy Lavender. And uh, Brian Bolt is going to be joining us later this year, possibly next week. But uh, Brian had a baby. Yes, sir, he did. Little so, boy. Yeah. So Man, we'll, cute We've got kid. a picture. We'll cute show you kid. here in just because a little bit. Because of his wife, it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> So after this play, maybe we can pull up the, the picture and, and show you guys really, really quick here in just a few minutes. Cody Reese back in at quarterback. Looks like it's going to be uh, handed off to uh, Trent Kelly as he's going to take it up the middle between the tackles. Man, that's thrown right where you got a holding. Hey, look we got that. a little baby. Look at so that. So look at that little baby. Woo. That's so, what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we want to congratulate Brian and Laura as Banks. Is it what? What is Banks? Uh, Banks Allen Bolt. I was going to say it's Banks Bolt, but uh, yeah. you had the middle name. Yeah. Banks Bab. Allen Bolt, Bab. Yep. So uh, congratulations to you guys. And, uh, man, I talked to Brian earlier. And 2040 I class of Texas High, 2040, <laughs> I believe. Uh, 44 at the University of Arkansas. And then he's going to get his law degree. 47 is when he'll be starting practicing law. So in 2050, Bolt retires because his <laughs> kid's going to set him for life. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we're going to go me second down and 10. Don't know what the call was there as we were talking about Brian's baby. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it looks like they may have declined it and given us, they, they took the down to get it second and 10. So, it's going to be uh, Taquan Williams in at the H-back position as Cody Reese is going to get oh, it out to throw. Gray. Gray is going to bobble it and uh, he's going to be brought down and out of bounds. Uh, but it, not after a get, great gain. It looks like he may be a yard yep. short of the first down, maybe yep. two yards short. And he just got to catch that in his hands right away. And uh, and if he does, he gets the first down. But uh, but it's a good throw by Cody. Puts it right on the numbers. And uh, T.J. Gray eventually secures it, and it brings up a short third and three. So we're going to bring up two. third down and two on the play. And so Cody Reese. Trent gets Kelly the signal, the Trent Kelly in the backfield, going to fake the handoff. Quick throw to Good Brandon catch. Hall. Brandon Hall goes up oh, to get it. Go, 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 and go, it's go. going to be fumbled and into Xavier uh, Dangerfield's Danger hands, and he is going to the house. Folks, let's go. Touchdown, Tigers. My man, who was that? That was the X-Man, <laughs> and he's on time, on the spot. And uh, really, really good throw and catch. Uh, Cody got rid of it early, and uh, and Brandon Hall goes up, makes a great catch, and their guy puts a hat on the ball. And, uh, you know, I'm not so sure Brandon Hall wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> well, I will tell you this. 
what I just saw, Brandon Hall's frustrated with himself. Yeah. But when the defensive coordinator walks out and goes, it's okay, yeah. that's yep. special. That's that means right. that's a team player yeah. down there. Coach Hawk, I commend that's you. That's right. Tap, tap on the hat, give him a little yeah. love, and say we're going to need you next drive. That's right. That's right. Man, what a play right there. Heads up play by Xavier Dangerfield. Nice. Francisco, once again, remains perfect on the season. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Man, so good, good that, snap by Pilgreen and good hold by Cody. 4.15 left here in the first quarter. Texas High takes the lead 14-7. to We'll be back after these messages. Providing excellent customer service while keeping everyone safe is a top priority here at State Bank. We are making your banking experience safer and easier with our new curbside banking program. Almost anything you need to do inside the branch can now be accomplished with curbside banking. Need to open an account, pick up a debit card, or hands-on help with a mobile banking? Just pull into a designated curbside spot, call the number on the sign, and a state bank team member will come assist you quickly. We are excited to bring you this convenience and are thankful to serve you. Your family, your bank, State Bank. Eric, Eric I'm tired, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you stated, as we're going to the break, it's going to be a shootout tonight. 14 to 7, Tigers lead 21 points. And we're still got 4:15 left here in the first quarter. Yeah, I talked to Coach Stanford last week, and uh, and that was one of the things he said. We're going to do a little bit more passing this week. We think we got some uh, DBs that we can pick on a little bit, and we knew they're going to throw it around almost every play. That's just what they do, and uh, and it looks like we're rotating people in and out, try to keep up with them. Francisco Perez on the kick, who is a sophomore, so we're yes, going to have sir. a kicker for the next three years. So excited to have Frisco. Uh, Good Francisco kid too. on the team. Good kid. Man, Kicks it deep. Look at that. And, it's uh, in the end zone. Get in there. That ball is going to be yes, one yard deep in the end zone. And uh, as the Tigers oh! pursue, and he is going to get rocked at about the 14-yard line. And the special that? teams come off number 41, 23, and 9. Good gravy. So that's going to be number 41, Cruz. Bustos. 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 Hey. That's, what That's I, a Bustos right I'll there. I'll tell you, said Bustos. <laughs> Bustos. Good gravy. So, Check that man on the sideline. So Texas high defense comes back on the field. Look what the deep kick did and the uh, and special teams. Uh, man, that's, that's big. So going to hand it off up the middle as that defensive oh, nice. line is going to be stingy. Nice. Merriman. Man, Merriman got him a good tackle right there. They got good pursuit. I mean, good uh, good penetration by the defensive line. And listen, their, their offensive line, look at number 78 right there. That's a big old man. Boy, I tell you what. So, going to be Kelcher on the carry. As they go fast, they're going to swing it out to Kelcher as he's going to be Breakdown. wrapped up immediately. Oh, good pursuit. Uh, but not after a gain. It's going to be third and short for the Panthers at the 20, 20 about the 21-yard 21 21, line. Looks like third yeah. and three. I'll tell you, you, you know, he, he got as many as he could right there. And, uh, man, you need, a, you need a good pass breakup right here. We need another man out here on the left side. Here we go. Going to shift over. Going to have people everywhere. Oh, yes. And oh, uh, going to get it to number 13. Missed tackle as Sogan on the reception. And going to be enough for a first down for the Panthers. Yeah, but a, a good job by Dowden to, to eventually uh, bring him down. But look like we had uh, weak side blitz right there and uh, and almost got a hold of it going to send a man out wide uh, boom and it's going to be a sack as smith goes down in the backfield and going to be brought down because that offensive that's line could man, not hold a d line that's my man alex hines and he's been in the backfield the whole quarter and uh and you know you all you gets one pump and he uh he tried to bring it down and uh and hines put a lick on him to Alex Hines, welcome back. That's what I'm talking about. Because he's been out the last two years with knee injuries, and so they put him at that DN position, and he's come to play tonight, and he's I got a lot of speed. Held him on that corner. So oh. going to get it, and another man is deep as he gets behind the defense once again. Is going to be Pruitt, and Pruitt's going to have his second touchdown of the night. Man, it just uh, 
just got behind uh, Tim Austin again, and, and they're picking him on him over there. And uh, he was kind of in the, you know, I, I think he had kind of made up his mind to come up that the quarterback was running and just uh, left left his man on the sideline and, uh, and just kind of hurts us right there. But uh, they got a chance to tie it up right now. We still got 233 left in the first quarter. Well, I showed up to a football game at Tiger Stadium and uh, – <laughs> And then suddenly turned into a track meet. <laughs> so I feel like I'm at six-man football in yep. West Texas. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I like our team in a track meet, though. Yeah. So it's 233 left here in the first quarter. Scores tied at 14. And uh, if you're the Tigers, I mean, you've played great defense other yeah. than those two big plays. Just those two big plays. And, uh, and you know, we're really, uh, we're really moving the ball a little bit on offense. I know we've had a couple of big plays, but, uh, but we're moving the ball. And we just need to keep doing what we do. And uh, I'll tell you, if there's one thing that I know is I trust our guys and I have for the last five years on defensive adjustments at halftime. So we make it to halftime. Uh, I trust Coach Wilson and Coach Hawkins and, and all those guys down there, and they, they do a great job job at halftime and uh man you look at our you look at our points per per half uh it's always in the first half that it's front loaded but uh but they're we put we put old old t-ball back and uh and they got a kick to him and i wouldn't i wouldn't kick to him <laughs> <laughs> that's right so other area games uh new boston is up early on queen city seven to nothing in the second quarter and uh tech uh Pleasant Grove and Bird are in the second uh, quarter. Just started the second quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. Well, I, I told somebody, you know, Bird, I think, runs the ball about every play, and, and PG does as well. And I said, it, we're, we're, that, that game's going to be over at our halftime. I knew they wouldn't kick it to him. Fully go. agree with that. But they got Gunna it to my man Dangerfield. Dangerfield, and Dangerfield's go. fixing to go have his go second get him, game TJ. of the night. Go get him, TJ. And he's going to be down a great return inside the Panther territory, hey. down at the 22-yard hey. line. Xavier Dangerfield came to play tonight. And I got on T.J. Gray earlier in the first quarter for not making a block, and look at the hustle. He runs from the 30 all the way, passes Dangerfield and gets a block, and springs it for another 12. Good job, buddy, right there, T.J. Gray. Good job, Gray. And Dangerfield uh, with a lot of lot of lot of yards, uh, and uh, and man, you know. It looks like he's coming up a little bit hobbled right there. Maybe just a cramp. I would be, too, if I ran that far yeah. that fast. Yeah. But I don't ever do that. <laughs> that far or that fast. That's right. So, going to put the freshman in the backfield ball along with Cody Reese. T.J. Gray to the right. Three receivers to the left. Back to pass. There he is. And it's going to oh. be the freshman, and he was wide open. Yeah. And nothing but pay dirt in the front. I think going to be overthrown think what you wanted to see on that throw right there was cody didn't put enough air under it and uh and he did uh in the game uh last week at uh at texas stadium at at&t stadium but uh but there if he puts a little bit more air under it that's six points but that's okay second and ten. Second and ten ball is going to be spotted at the 22 yard line two receivers to his left dangerfield back in the game great to see after that great return Looks like we're going to have a false start. Let's see what we get here. Yep. Yeah, false start. Good call. Number 75 for the Tigers. I can tell by the coach's body language over there, <laughs> they're trying to figure out how to stop this powerful offense of the Tigers. Because uh, if you flip the side, if we just don't let guys get behind us, it's going to be a new yep. ball game. And yep. like you said at halftime, they're going to make those adjustments. Ball's out, and my man uh, Trenton Kelly's in. And, uh, and man, that's, that's thunder and lightning in, in one body right there. Trenton Kelly, I call him TD Trent. So it's going to be second and 15 Good as uh, Brandon sir. Hall is going to get it. He's going to go five touchdown Tigers. Mm -hmm. No laundry on the field, and that'll be six for the Tigers. Hey, one thing, it was a great cut, great cut by B. Hall. But, uh, but man, here's the thing that makes that. That guy's playing about four yards off of him, and Cody gets it out there in a split second. So that ball's to him, and he's able to have a little space. And we put our guys in space. I like our chances. Pilgreen on to snap it. Cody Reese for the hold. Perez to kick it. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Man. And so with a minute 52 left in the first, first quarter, quarter, Tigers lead 21 to 14. With that, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back <laughs> after these messages.
Well, we're back here at Tiger Stadium as we've got a shootout with a minute 52 left here in the first quarter. And uh, by the way, we got a friend that's watching the game yes, as we well. Do. Shout out to my man Paul Norton, former uh, former big big boss at uh, at T High. But he's always a Tiger. Yes, he's got he that Tiger's blood in yes, him. Yes, he is. So deep kick by Francisco, going to be fielded at the one yard line as they try to go to the right side of the field, but going to be stuck. <sighs> oh, he's going to break free. Just trying to strip the ball, just tackle him down. And it's going to be out to the 39 yard line as. He's excited about that play, number 28 on the return, going to be Nathan Critchfield. I'll tell you what, Coach Greer brought his team, brought his uh, special teams to play tonight, and, uh, and man, they've showed up and showed out. And uh, he's not going to like that play right there, but they were in position. They, uh, they had the play made, and they just tried to strip the ball, and the guy gets another 20 yards. So we're going to bring up first and 10. Ball is spotted at the 38-yard line. Pass. Back yes, to pass. Sir. Going to be batted down behind the line of scrimmage. Is that Ian Kreit? That is going to be Ian Kreit, as we call his name for the first time tonight. Man, I'm telling you, that kid is just rock solid ice, and uh, and you don't see much emotion from him, but, uh, but he gets out there on the field, and he's fired. I really like Alex Hines moving down from the linebacker position to that defensive end because he's got a lot of speed. <sighs> And once again, yes, and it's going to be a redeem redemption by number 20. 20, McElroy, A.J. McElroy. And McElroy's you down the sidelines. You down ain't the running. Sidelines. Oh, he uh, he's out be at the 21. stepped out at the 21-yard line, but what a way to recover as they tried to go back to that same play, and the Tigers said, not today. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Man, really great play. Get him off the field. Come on, here we go. So they thought he scored, and so yep. the extra point team is on the field. Yep. So that's okay. Be at the hey, give us a couple of line. plays, extra point team. Get over here and get you some water. Give us a couple of plays. <laughs> I Thing is, is, that's half the offensive line. So. <laughs> when Coach Stammer first got here, he's, there was this lineman. He had jumped, and he calls him by name. Say, get on the sidelines, and he sends the next guy into his place. And that guy jumps, looks at the back of the lineman, get, get back, back on the field. <laughs> <laughs> so, I laughed. I mean, matter of fact, me and Mr. Norton were standing next to each yeah. other, and we were just rolling like it was just funny. And Stammer looked at us, and he threw his hands up like, I don't even know what to do right now. <laughs> All right, Cody trots back out, and you got T.D. Trent back out there. B. Hall and uh, T.J. Hey, how don't, about, how don't, about that offensive line? Man. Got my man John Jack back this year man. along with uh, – uh, Briley Barron is yeah. a newcomer for us. Richard Jackson in at center. Going to get it out to Brandon Hall. Brandon's going to make a move, uh, and he's going to break a Keep tackle going. at the 10-5. Keep going. Gonna be touchdown. touchdown, Tiger. Man, look at hey, look at my man TJ out there. Hey, I, I sat in the in the suburban and uh, <laughs> and listened to Coach Stanford, and he said, "Man, we're going to get it to B Hall in some space next week, and uh, and it's going to be his week." And man, what you know? Here's the thing: TJ is a man that we go to out on the edge and everything. He's being a team player out there, and man, just blocked all the way down to the goal line. Another score by the Tigers. How about our man Lane Elliott, who is the <laughs> receiver's up. coach? He was fired he up. He was fired up. And I'll tell you what. Adjustment on defense yep. makes a difference. Yep. Now it's a two-score game, 28-14. to 14. Ah, it just pushes that ah, one. Ah, my bad. So 27-14. 27-14. So, someone said perfect through the last deal. I don't know who it was. My but wife the, told me the, to. <laughs> <laughs> that was Angie. She, you may want to give her the no. – let her say it. Uh, I said but, uh, it. I'll hey, listen, here's the thing. The flag runners are going to be tired by the end of the – is it in the first quarter yet? Mm -hmm. Have we, okay. All right, just so, check. hey, last night SAU played. Uh-huh. Scored 61. Jeez. After every score, the cheerleaders go oh, through the no. number of points on the board. I bet they push get 300, oh. 300 push-ups yeah. last night. Hey, that, that's, that's when the head of the cheerleaders or, or one of those the guys or girls calls the offensive coordinator and says, hey, listen, just win by 14, but if you know, don't score 60. So every time, you know, it goes up. So seven and then 14. And then, you, I mean, that's a lot of points and a lot of push-ups. So yeah. great crowd here tonight. Yeah, there and, is. Uh, Folks, and I know home that older. you enjoy watching it at home, and uh, I heard Redbone's got it on, so oh, we want nice. to give all those folks a shout-out over Roger at Redbone. Roger and Debbie Shepard. If you're at Redbone, come on, make some noise for those Tigers right yep. now. Thanks yep. for watching tonight. Their girls came came through Texas High, and, and uh, in fact, their grandson is the deep snapper. Sure uh, is. So. so we appreciate Roger and Debbie and Redbone. for their support, as well as Sports Magic. Sports Magic. 
So man, that's that is one of their daughters. It is son-in-law, Greg. Greg and Lindsey Pilgrim. Yep. So going to be all the way to the goal line again. Going to be fielded at the goal line. Going to be returnable, Ooh. and he's going to he's going to drop 19. down and say, "I really don't want to get hit," but I think no. he might have injured his knee yeah. on that one. I, I thought he buckled a little bit. I'll there. tell you what, they might want to just down that ball in the end zone next time. Well, uh, I don't think it quite made it there. He was at the goal line, so I don't okay. think he would have. It'd have been well, a safety. But it's fine if he wants to down it and be a safety. Yeah. Well, if he, hit, I mean, you can you can fair catch it. Yep, that's true. So it's going to be one minute left here in the first quarter. Ball is going to be spotted at the 19-yard line as the Panthers are going to take over first and 10. Weston Smith, the Princeton commit, jogs back on the field with his offense and uh, <clears throat> threw an interception last time as he tried to go uh, deep once again to Pruitt as Pruitt's had a good game tonight, two receptions, well over 100 yards receiving thus far in the game, and it's only the first quarter. And uh, my wife was just pointing out the beautiful sunset that we've Man. got that we're getting to see here. And, Man, uh, God's oh, work. Look at that rainbow over there. It's a rainbow, yeah. It it's, looks like it's ending right on our sideline. Yep, I, I think that <laughs> might be the pot of gold that we've been looking for. <laughs> so. Heck, I was thinking it was ending in T, uh, T, uh, Xavier Dangerfield's pocket earlier. Yeah. Oh. So we're going to go full spread. Uh, Drop back to pass. Smith's going to be pursued from behind, and he's going to get the ball away. Oh, nice. And he tried to go to Pruitt again, and Pruitt's going to get held up there, and they're going to call pass interference on that play. Yeah, that's on Josh Stewart over there, but it looked like Josh was just playing good defense. I agree with that. Uh, but maybe it was a little bit too physical, too far downfield. And uh, But I'll tell you what he didn't do. He didn't let the guy get behind him, and we can yeah. we live to fight another play right there. It's a first down, but uh, it, saves, it may save us 70 yards. You know, we always talk about in a game like this, timing is a lot of things. The good part is, is it was already first down and you give up a first down. That's right. 52 seconds left here in the first quarter. Going to go back, going to get it out to Ulrich. Ulrich is going to be run out of bounds after the reception. By Josh Stewart. And uh, and just keep them in front of you right there. Hey, mate, here, here's the thing uh, what a defensive coordinator wants to do is he wants to bend, not break, and he wants, hey, if it takes you 20 plays to move downfield, something bad's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, good cut. It's going to be uh, 31. Carry by that, Kelcher yep, up right. the middle. Really good cut because the defense was was standing there, and uh, and he, he made a, a backside cut and uh, ends up getting a first down. Merriman's going to come off the field for this play. Wanted to comment on Smith. Great fake as he uh, – Acted like nice. he was going to throw the screen there. Look at there for the Tigers. 99 comes in. Brendan Shorter, uh, who's a senior, and uh, plugs up the hole and makes a really good play. So going to bring second down and four. Going to be a quick pass Boom. as they're going to go quick on offense. Ulrich is going to break a tackle and get the first down. Going to be brought down at the Tigers' 40-yard line. As the offense, they're trying to run, go fast so the Tigers can't Absolutely. sub anybody in. And uh, this is what they expected all night tonight. Is play last this kind play of, of the drive. quarter. So I'm going to go deep as he's got a man wide open as he had beat the defense intended for Ulrich. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. And with a lot of fireworks in the first quarter, Texas High leads 27 to 14. With that, we're going to come back after these messages, and we can't wait to see what the second quarter has in store. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years, always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. And we are back here at Tiger Stadium where it has been a shootout 
uh, in this first quarter as we get ready to start the second quarter. Billy, coming up at halftime, we've got Chris Lyle's going to join us. Pretty excited about I'm that. Excited. And possibly Chris Sutton. All We're right. going to try to find out if he's in the stadium, but Man, two Lyle's great, is going to come up. Two great kids, two great families that they come from, and, uh, and man, what – what great jobs they did at Texas High and have gone on to SAU and uh, and really showing out on the diamond at uh, for the Mule Riders. Going to be a carry up the middle by 31, Kelcher, as he's going to be brought down, brings up third down and long uh, yep. for the Panthers. That was Shorter and Hines both getting the tackle. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, Alex Hines has come to play today. So a little scoring update. Pleasant Grove trails. Four minutes left in the first half, 7 no flag, to nothing. No flag, need a pick. It's going to bring up fourth down after the incompletion by Smith as he just got rid of it. looks like he just got rid well, of it. Well, what, what happened was was our, our right defensive end jumped, and uh, what, the, uh, what the center is taught to do is just snap the ball, and they're taught to throw it up like that on a, on a jump ball. But he got back before the guy snapped the ball, so there was no flag, and now we got brings up fourth down. So it's a wasted play. That's what we do in East Texas. They don't do that in the Metroplex. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> No, here we go. <laughs> so they're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a quick kick. Going to fake the throw pitch. Throwback, throwback. Going to go throwback. And oh, it's go oh, oh, and he just missed it, and it's going to be caught by Kelcher. Kelcher's going to have a great gain and enough for a first down. Man. As, I mean, just out of the reach. My man, Shatez Wilkerson. Uh, his first year over at Texas High, and uh, he was he had six and had it red, and the ball went right through his hands, and they caught it. But, man, what a play on the backside. He read the play. So, going to hand it off. It's going to pull it. Smith's going to pull it and keep it and go Boom. around uh, the end, and I don't know that he's going to want to do that after seeing so. 95 hey, I, on the outside. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what my man 95 did, and that's Brandon Childs, is he tracked him down, hit him, put him on the dirt and helped him back up. Yeah. And his team says, why would you help him back up? He says, so I can hit him again. Yeah, that's right. Childs brought the wood on that one. Going to hand it off yes, to Ulrich up the middle. Hey, great blitz by the Tigers. I hadn't seen much of that in the first game. And, uh, man, they're uh – oh. Six is hurting a little bit after they yeah. hit by Childs. I'm he telling said, wait you, a minute. That's his, got my that's feeling his, back. That's his right shoulder. You yeah. know what we told him to do? Don't run the ball. Yeah, so he got hit on that right shoulder when Childs hit him. So uh, hopefully he's going to be okay. You never want to see a kid. No, absolutely not. Third and three, long three. Third and three, three going to send uh, Bennett, who's in the backfield with him, going to hand it off to Bennett Boop. up the middle, and is going to be brought down. Gonna fourth bring and one. Fourth and short on the play as you look for them to go for it. You'll hear Coach Hawk tell his, tell his defensive line, watch the ball, watch the ball, because they're going to try to – yeah, good call right there by Coach Stanford, a timeout. You got three left. You want to make sure your defense is set. What we got going on in the area, Eric? So we got uh, Pleasant Grove trails seven to nothing and with 324 left in the first half. Queen City trails New Boston 20 to nothing. Uh, and let's see if we can get some other scores. If this app will work right, it hadn't been working too well lately, but I'm not going to mention the app. <laughs> but uh, not – all I can see right now, but uh, we'll get the rest of the scores here in just a little bit. Uh, with a timeout left, 27-14 Texas high leads with 10-12 left here in the second quarter. Once again, Eric Aiken along with Billy Lavender mm -hmm. as he is pinch hitting for Brian Bolt tonight. Really appreciate you being in the in the booth Man, with me tonight. I'm, I'm excited. You know, Brian, Brian didn't want to text me and, and ask me or whatever, and I said, man, I'll pinch hit for you any time, brother. Just just let me get up here and talk about the kids we have in TISD and, and playing for the Tigers. And, uh, and man, I, I love it. A lot of times I get to get to talking over somebody. but uh, uh, You just get excited. Nobody gets yeah, their feelings there hurt. There it was, fourth and one. Throws it right through his – Goes right through the receiver's hands and another stop by the Tiger defense. Ben, but don't break. And now we get to have that high-powered offense back on the field. So here we go, 27-14 with 10.08 left here in the first half as Texas High takes over deep in their own territory as Cody Reese is going to lead his team back on the field. And for the Panthers, so we've got uh, Atlanta is ahead of uh, Redwater in the second quarter, 14 to nothing. Jefferson up on Tipson, uh, 21 uh, to nothing. And as well as here, 27-14 in favor of the Tigers. Cody Reese back in at quarterback. Looks like it's going to be 
Jabari Johnson on the carry, going to oh, bring it block. around. And he's going to have a hole on the outside and is going to have a nice gain. Going to be run out of bounds at the 21, 22 yard line. My man, John Jack, gets a great block and seal. Not only does he get a good block, he seals him off, turns turns his shoulders and seals him off, gets on the right side and uh, and, and turns, a, turns a five yard gain into a seven, eight yard gain. I'll tell you what, when you see your defensive lineman, it's the first play of a series and they've already got their hands, hands on, on their hips. hips. That that's a that's a conditioning issue. They're not issue. doing that dance. You put your hand up on your hip. Man. That's right. Oh, good hole right there. Good cut. Good cut. Great cut on the inside there, as that's going to be number Jab four Johnson yes, on sir. the carry once again. Jabari, baby. Jabari was listed as a starter tonight, but Trent ended up getting it. Of course, I got this early in the week. So, but I we know the kids yeah. well enough. We can Is call it Trent or names. T Ball out there first. I couldn't tell. Uh, it was Trent. Trent. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what the issue was there, but 9.26 left here in the first half. First down for the Tigers. Once again, Billy Lavender, Eric Aiken, and we'll be joined by Chris Lyles and Chris Sutton at halftime. You're going to want to stick around for that, I promise yep. you. So going to send Xavier Dangerfield in motion, but also the offensive line thought they were supposed to go in motion. Yes. Looks like uh, Tristan Powell jumped a little bit, but yeah. uh, and, and he's going to. He's going to come out and uh, and and coach uh, Coach Stanford's going to talk to him and and tell him it's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll get it next time. I see him. That's exactly what he's saying, and uh, and that's okay. It gives our offense more room to work now. Looks like Bradley Barron was pulling out here, so it looks like they were going to run something up this way, and that's a big dude to be pulling. Last thing I wants to be a a DB and Riley, Riley Barron pulling my way. That's for sure. I'm yeah. like, hey, brother, pull the other way. Yeah, because I can tell you that sucker can roll, and when he gets it rolling, it's going to roll. Yeah. <laughs> Reese yes, back sir. to pass, and he's going to tuck it and Get run and try to scramble a little bit, and he's going to be brought down for a loss at the 19-yard line of the Tigers. I think if Cody had that one back, he'd just thrown that ball out of bounds and uh, – just uh, he, he thought he could get around that end, and that guy just kind of had the angle on him. But uh, now you got about second and second 19. Yeah, going to call it second and 19. Ball is spotted at the Tigers' 19-yard line. Two receivers to his left, one receiver to the right with a tight end this time. So going to fake the handoff, oh. get it out to Brandon Hall. Ball was thrown at his feet. Cody's wanting that one back. Yeah, as he hits but himself. you know, it's a really tough pass right there, and uh, and they had two guys on B. Hall. So if he did catch it, he wouldn't get two or three yards. But uh, I think what you're going to see right here, I don't know, they may take a deep shot right here with the way the defense has been playing, but you'd think maybe they want to get, uh, you know, 10 or 12 yards and, uh, and just get, get kind of out of the uh, their side of the field. Bird has extended their lead against the Pleasant Grove Hawks with 58 seconds left in the second quarter, 14 to nothing over in Shreveport tonight. Reese fakes the handoff, going to oh, scramble wow. and make Go a Cody. phenomenal Block. move. Is going to get it out to the 25, crosses a 30, hey. gets it out to the 35-yard line. Man. Close to the first down, but going to be a couple of yards short. Great scramble by Cody as Boy, he tucked they, that ball and they ran. They had him with a loss, and Cody hits the B button, does a spin, and uh, and then cuts back on the backside. And now you got it fourth and a couple, and I think we're going to get either a quick kick right here or going to try to draw him off offsides. Well, with the way the defense has been playing, yeah. I'm saying go for it. Yeah, man. You, you don't know the offensive line leaning on him and 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 big back back there, Trent. He he's not tall, but uh, but the sucker's got some got, got some meat. For one of the first times tonight, the clock's still running after the play was done because we haven't had an incompletion or out of bounds. Going to go for it. Mm. Cody's going to fake it and try to get it, and he's going to be stuffed, and he's going to be brought down at the 31-yard line, and the ball is going to go over on downs to the Panthers as they tried to. They had that one sniffed out, and, uh, you know, it's just we, we tried, and, 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 and sometimes you get about, about 4,000 offensive coordinators over here who will say, man, we shouldn't have done that, but, uh, but they'd have been clapping had we scored on it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So watching John Jack walk off with his body lanes, he's yeah. frustrated at yeah. himself. I think he might have missed a block or gotten beat. Sometimes yeah. you're just going to get right. beat. You don't That's miss right. it. You're going to be, get beat. So, right. so it's going to be Smith bringing his offense back on the field with Kelcher at the, uh, on his left side in the backfield. Kelcher's been the go-to guy tonight in the backfield. Stay with him. Going to go deep. Gets hit as he releases ah. it. And uh, 
He's going to get Man. a penalty flag. It, as was, it was really good defense, uh, really good Roy. defense by Michael Roy for the whole way down there. And then the only thing is he just didn't get his head around. And that's as a DB, you got to turn your head because he had him covered the whole way down. He did not get beat. Yep. But uh, and if he just turns his head. But here's another thing. That's one of those things that I told you. Just, just uh, don't get beat deep. And if you get a penalty, you live fight another day. So we were talking about in pregame with C.J. Brown being the only returner of the deep guys to come back. And so that makes it, uh, you know, those guys are, they've only got five quarters of football in before now. So it's, so here we go. Going to be first and 10 balls inside the 20 yard line. Going to hand it off and going to be stuffed behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Going to bring up second down at 11 as Kelcher tried to uh, take it up the middle, but the, Defensive line of the Texas High Tigers was not having it. It's going to be Childs on the stop. Childs, please. So here we go. Smith gets a signal, gets a snap, going to drop it back to pass. He's looking for Pruitt. Uh, the ball looks like it might have been tipped a little bit. Yeah, as no, it, he, the uh, defender, number 54, uh, Kenneth Merriman gets in the backfield and hits him on the play. So we're going to bring up third down and 12 on the – if they get a stop here, I would imagine we would see a field goal as they're going to try to uh, close the gap here. So Smith back to pass. Going to be picked off inside the 10 and going to get it back out to 10. C.J. Brown on the pick. Second turnover for the night for the Tiger defense man. with 6.46 left here in the first half. My man, C.J., boy, he's a hard worker back in the backside, and he was at the right place at the right time, and he wasn't going to drop it. And the Tiger D says, we'll see you and raise you one. So first and 10 for the Tiger ball spotted at the 10-yard line as what a big play is. That's been the second time that they have not been able to punch it in. One on the turnover on downs, turnover on downs, and then for the, for the turnover by that Texas high defense, Cody Reese comes back on the field with Brandon Hall, T.J. Gray, and Dangerfield out at receiver, along with the freshman ball in at running back. So going to send Xavier Dangerfield in motion behind and going to hand it off to the yes, freshman. Sir. He's got room, and if he could break a tackle, he yeah. might have gone to the house I'll tell on you that what, one. Though, Riley Barron was out there, and that guy, he uh, he shook him off, but uh, but, but Barron got some push, and because of that, we get uh, six six and a half yards. And, uh, and man, that's that's what we want. We want to we want to get five six yards on first down and uh, and have second and short and be on the positive side of the sh chains. Well, that was the play earlier that was a false start on. I think that's what they wanted to run earlier with Barry and pulling out I got you. here to his left side. So going to bring up second down and five. Going to hand it off. Nope, going to oh. pull it back down and going to hand it or oh, get no. it out to Brandon Hall. Oh. And he's going to dance. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Welcome to the dance show. Wow. I'm telling the you. The Disco put, Inferno has <laughs> shown up tonight. They're putting him in space and looks a little Barry Sanders-esque, uh, if I might say so myself, and uh, maybe dating myself, not not because I live in Arkansas, mm -hmm. dating myself, but uh, but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we'll <laughs> it's legal there, by the way. Leave that, we're going <laughs> to leave legal. that one alone. <laughs> so I tell you, there was another dude that could dance like that on this field right here, and that was Quan Hampton yes, back sir. in the day. Number two, so he was. Get a handoff oh, and going to run up the middle. Going to be Trent Kelly yeah. on the carry, and he's like, man, I had a lot yes, more. Sir. Just couldn't get hey, break it free. But another another thing, that offensive line, those backs cutting like that. Now, now look at it, second and two. You know, you talk about the defense making adjustments at halftime. Jeremy Harrell makes adjustments man, in the game like man. nobody else I've I'm, seen I'm with an offensive you, line. What a great coach uh, Jeremy Harrell is, and he was a great player as well. Yeah, by the way, if you were getting the oh, same room him. with him, oh. he'll go, hey, there's one guy that's in this oh. room. Woo, Cody wants off. that one back, but I, I'll tell you, he had – he had old Gray. I mean, uh, he had X over here on the on the sideline on a double move. He just didn't stay with him long enough. Ty Golden almost had the pick in and out of his hands. But now, if you get in the same room with Jeremy Harrell, he's going to go. Now, there's one of us in this room that's played on national TV. <laughs> that's right, <laughs> no doubt. And no. it's never me. <laughs> no, but I've watched national TV several times, probably more than he has. Yeah. By the look of things, he was probably on National Geographic. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clip that and send it to him. <laughs> 
<laughs> so here we go. Third down and short for the Tigers. Call it third down and two. As Cody right Reese back to pass, going to sling it out to Trent Kelly. He makes a move, oh, going to nice cut it back move. inside and going to get back almost back to the line of scrimmage. It's actually going to be a loss on the play, going to bring up fourth down. It's like we're going to punt here, send our punt team out. So Coach Stanford, I don't think, was real happy with something on that play. As Sometimes it's early in the season. People still trying to figure things out. Yep. So Says Trusty back. Old Trusty with the blue shoes. Be kicking a ball somewhere from around about the 23-yard line, 22, 23-yard line. Trying to get a number on our punter. I can't find it. There Seth Trusty. Seth Trusty. My apologies, folks. Good kick. Ball, ball, ball. Ball. And Let's it's go. Gonna be Xavier Dangerfield on the recovery. My man. Man, what a night man. he has had I'm so telling you, far. I'm telling you. And here's the thing. Uh, you, Trusty gets a great leg into it, and you think, okay, he's out kicked his coverage. No, he hasn't. And uh, Dangerfield's down there, and, uh, and you see three for uh, – uh, you see uh, Connor for uh, – uh, for them, tapping his hat, and uh, he's saying, hey, my bad. Well, it was your bad because you missed the ball. That's all right. <laughs> so I'm looking at number 11, his body language, and I'm thinking, let's go right at him because, you know, but uh, here we go. So wonder go what they're, they're, uh, the officials are circling out there, and I don't think they're talking about what they want to eat for uh, at halftime, but uh, I didn't know if they were going to give a lot of times uh, – if uh, if they muff a punt, you can't advance it sometimes, but uh, I don't know what they were. Well, he had called fair catch. So okay. I think that's a fair catch. Okay. And so, I mean, they were just making sure on that, no interference gotcha. or anything. I got gotcha. you. Brandon Hall comes in motion. He's going to be at the H-back position, going to fake the handoff. Cody Reese Wasn't is, there. is going to run it and uh, going to scat out of bounds that's and does a great like job by tucking it and running it. Hey, you know, here's the thing. They, uh, they had great coverage on our receivers uh, downfield, and what we're trying to get is the backside receiver across the middle, and it was just congested, and, uh, and Cody tucked it and, uh, and looked off uh, for, his, for his next two, and they were covered, and so he just he took off and got the corner, and, uh, and because of it, gains, you know, three, four yards. So we're going to bring up second down and seven instead of second down and 13 mm -hmm. on that situation. Mm -hmm. So does a great job there by recovering, and uh, I was told that his dad was a – a Man. great athlete back in the day, Man. played catcher at uh, for the University of Arkansas. Is Man, that I correct? He's a pitcher. Or a pitcher. So Cody Reese is oh. going to be pressured and brought down in the backfield as he's sacked behind the line of scrimmage down at the 31-yard line of the Panthers. And going to bring up third down and long as we tick down the inside of four minutes left here in the first half. Tigers lead 27-14. to 14. This second quarter hasn't had near as many fireworks as the first quarter did and once again at halftime we will be joined by chris lyles uh, a former baseball player here and current baseball player at southern arkansas as well as the gac tournament mvp this year wow so we're going to be excited to have him on at halftime have time out over here by coach stanford so for you folks that are watching that uh may be band parents mm -hmm. uh we will have Chris on during the Panther Band, and but so, but you will get to see the high steppers and the band and their show in the entirety at halftime. We will do everything we can to make sure that you see that because we know that those young people put in as much work as this football team. And, Absolutely. Uh, and uh, if it wasn't for the band, I'll just tell you, band cheerleaders and everything else, it's just kind of dull at a football game. Man, no doubt, no doubt. You know, they were talking about that a lot during COVID, about not having people in the stands and, and things like that. And, man, it, you know, it, it's just it's not the same if, you know, if you take – I mean, you, you look down here and, 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 heck, what a great crowd we've got tonight, pretty night. And, uh, but, uh, but, man, if, it's, if people aren't in the stands and you don't have the band and the, just all the hoopla, the hoopla is what I like, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you wouldn't be able to tell that by the run out. But <laughs> – you do a great job on the run out, Man, by the I way. I had some of that smoke. Got to, I've been having to take it back from the drill team or uh, high steppers for Texas High. does a great job, but sometimes those smoke bombs tend to, if that wind's blowing just right, you know, cover them up. And, uh, and I just like I'm telling the guys down there, hey, man, we need to drag those things. If you see it getting on, 
on them, drag it. They're, they're more important than that smoke. That's right. So as we resume play here, third down and 12 with 337 left here in the first half. Four down territory right here. So Cody reached back Cody. to pass it. it. It's going to be our full release. And he had his man yep. wide open and yep. had coverage in yep. front of it and it had blockers a, in front, I should hey, say. It was, it was a great call. It, it was a great play. The only thing that's different in why it wasn't a great pass is because they had guy he was backpedaling. They had guys in his face, mm -hmm. and it just it forced a bad throw. Yep. Uh, so so kudos to them. But uh, but man, we had we had the call, and uh, and here we go. Like I say, we were in four down territory, and uh, three thirty two left in the half. Man, and I'll tell you what, it's uh, you know it's a forty eight four. Uh, it'd be about a fifty yarder, and uh, and that's not out of the question. Uh, for our kicker. Yeah, so throwing off your back foot can be difficult. So Cody Reese back to pass. He's going to go deep. He's got a man, and it's going to be Dangerfield as he's going to yes, be covered, sir. and it's going to be yes, pass interference in the yep. end zone. Looks he, like it's going to be on number 41. It's going to be Jaden Hall, yeah, and sophomore I, for the Panthers. And he was going to Dangerfield, and Dangerfield stretched the coverage, and it looked like Dangerfield jumped a little bit too early, but when he did, uh, the guy was face guarding him and went up and hit him. And, uh, and man, great play. It's two good play calls uh, by the offense, probably Coach Toon and uh, Stanford together. And uh, and now the Tigers have it inside the 20, 324. I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple of running plays to, to you know, milk that clock a little bit, even though uh, they've got uh, they've got three timeouts left. But uh, I'm going to send Tristan Powell in at tight end. And uh, – so here we go, first and 10 after the pass interference call. Yes, Going to hand it off to number four, Javari Johnson on the carry. And he's going to be brought down after a nice gain on the carry. Going to be second down for the Tigers. Man, following that big pulling guard right there, Mr. Barron, and uh, and and getting uh, some positive yards and, and having that clock run. Uh, just uh, a few things that, that I thought we needed to do and, and we're doing for sure. Yeah. So going to bring up second down and seven. And I'll tell you, you're talking about Coach Toon. His parents watch every game nice. with us and uh, really appreciate nice. what we do. And so we want to give a shout-out to yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Toon tonight and say thank you for watching. All the way down in Kilgore is where they live. So, and folks, join us at halftime as the Chris's are going to be on the show. Chris Sutton and Chris Lyles are going yeah. to join us at halftime. Is this job, going to be Jason, Jason Hubbard, Hubbard on yes, his sir. first reception of the season? Yes, hey, it was a good one. It was a big one. Looks like a first down, be first and goal for the Tigers. And yeah, is it was it just coincidence when uh, when Lyles and Sutton came up here that the lights turned on? They I mean, did. they've been it's out just all, all sudden, night. They walk in and the lights turn on. You know what What's I heard? The deal? I'll tell you what I heard. What? I heard Lyles say, "Let the party begin." <laughs> 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 so going to hand it off. Going to be, is that Trent on the carry? No, I, I think that's a number. Uh, I think it's number four. Yeah, it's going to be Johnson on the yep. carry as I'll it's going to be inched towards the goal line. I'll tell you what he did. What, what I like to see is, is there wasn't anywhere for him to go left or right, and there was two guys right in front of him. He just took them on, got as many as he could, keeps that clock running, uh, second and goal. And uh, I wouldn't, man, I, I'm telling you, now we put T-ball in, uh, and uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see us, you know, try to take it up the middle as well. Run behind the big boys. Going to be, looks like Coach Sutton down oh, there is signaling guys in. And it's going to be a split back set. Going to hand it off to the freshman. Yes, He's going to turn Good it block. up inside. Touchdown, Tigers. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They say they say he stepped out well, at the three-inch line. That's they lied. Right. They lied. <laughs> Give it to the that's, freshman. That's a, hey, look here. Look at my man, touchdown Trent coming in. Give it to him. So going to be touchdown Trent jogging on the field as well as Johnson in the backfield and going to send Powell in. It looks like he's going to be at, he's going to be tied in on the right side. Going to bring T.J. Gray and Hall to the left side of the formation. And Reese is going to. Oh, we had him with the exact same play and looks like they get a timeout. They're going to call a timeout with a minute and 22 left here in the first half. It's going to be 27-14 as the Tigers are knocking on the door once again. Billy, we talked about in pregame, 
uh, Decimal Doty and I mm -hmm. about just how important this matchup is, not for just early in the season, but for playoffs as well. Man. You're playing another 5A Division II school that's not in your conference. Yeah, man, it's, it's uh, you know, you're, you're playing it. You're playing iron sharpens iron, and you're playing a team that uh, that you know you're seeing a lot of passes. You know, it's giving your your DBs a lot of chances, and uh, and it, it really uh, it, it's it's just so good to to face good competition early on and uh, and just prepare you for that run and and have some film uh, that that you can work on when you know when when things break down. You know, things like I said. I trust our guys. I trust Hawk. I trust uh, uh, Coach Wilson. I trust them uh, to get the defense right in the second half, and they always do. But they've made those adjustments, you know, early on in the first half. And uh, and look at here. Spread them out. It's going to be Kelly. Touchdown, Kelly, in the backfield. It's going to spread them out. We're going to call a timeout. And now we're going to call a timeout. And uh, scoring updates. Over in Sulphur Springs, Mount Pleasant Trail, Sulphur 7 to nothing. Ooh. And uh, that's going to be a close game tonight, uh, I feel. Minute 22 left here in the first half. And uh, it's going to be, man, this is going to be a fun season. This is going to be a fun season. I'm, I'm excited, and it's already been fun. Uh, the only thing fun when was going to bed at 3 o'clock uh, last, last Thursday night or Friday morning uh, after getting in from AT&T. But, uh, man, the Tigers went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a, you know, a, a number two team in the state in a, uh, you know. 5A in, Division One. 5A Division One, number two in the state, and uh, had a chance to win at the end. And, uh, you know, what, what I keep saying this week and uh, it is that Coach Stanford told them at the end that, that really resonated with me is, is hey, you either want to be part of the conversation or you want to be the conversation. Mm -hmm. And he said, we want to be the conversation. We don't want them to talk about Texas High in a, hey, they had a chance at the end. We want them to talk about Texas High. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe and won. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that, that's what he had. And, man, the, the kids just rallied around him like they always do. And, uh, and man, it, it's you, you can see the way they came out tonight is, hey, this is our house. Yeah. You know. And when we talk at halftime with, with Sutton and Lyles, we'll hear more about how they condition and how it translates to college level for these guys because – it hasn't been as tough on them at the college level because of how they prepare here. Going to hand there it off is. to Touchdown Trent. Touchdown Tigers. My man, just give him the rock, he said. <laughs> give him the rock and let him roll. <laughs> hey, Billy, the puns are not working tonight, buddy. <laughs> they're working on my mic. <laughs> well, I hope Redbone's going nuts over there as they're watching the game man, live no over there. Going to bring on Francisco Perez for the point attempt after, and with a minute 18 left here in the first quarter, Texas High leads. There's Texas High is going to lead 34 to 14. Man, that's what you want to see, and, and the Tigers' offense is, uh, you know, but here's the thing. Colleyville, are we staying? Colleyville, they, uh, they score a bunch of points. Mm -hmm. they, they run a high-octane, high-powered offense or whatever, and the defense has held them to 14. And if you remember right, that's on two big plays, mm -hmm. two so, big jump plays. So it's a low-octane offense tonight. Well, it's yeah. so far. So, so far. far. <laughs> it's just a high-octane defense is mm -hmm. what it is. Yep. And, you know, it's, it's like, a, it's like a, they say a dog uh, – the dog takes on the personality of his of his master, and uh, <laughs> and man, uh, you know, Co Coach Hawk's a dog, baby. <laughs> Coach Hawk is a dog. <laughs> so, I bet Lyle's got lit up by Coach Hawk a few Ooh. times because I just know how he acts. You know? <laughs> That's why Sutton played offense. That's he was right. scared of Hawk, <laughs> not because he was fast. Uh. <laughs> man, you already see Sutton on the bases. He sets I, records at SAU. What are you talking about, see him? I go Slow. and watch them kids, boy. <laughs> yeah, you were there them. during the regionals. Yeah, yeah you yeah. were there. Got was, to see you and watch those guys play. I was there early season. I was there mid-season. I was there late season. Yeah, I like that's, that's just a, a puddle jump, boy. I tell you what, you want to go see some, not, not only just players them for Texas High, but, uh, man, SAU's loaded. They are loaded. Ball falls off the tee, and Perez. It's the only thing that can stop them. Yep. Perez going to tee it back up. It looks like we got a nice little win. He may be able to put this one in the end zone as the wind's blowing through the end zone with a minute 18 left here in the first half. And it's going to be 
fielded at the oh. four yard line, and it's uh, going to be whiffed, be a, and he cannot. He, he's not. He's going to have to return that he, uh, as he fumbled it, and we're going to run past him totally. And uh, after a bad start, number thirty-three, uh, Colin Bennett is going to have a nice return yeah. to recover I'll that situation. What, I think. I think what his coach is going to tell. If you if you don't have control of it and you muff it, you can down it back there. Uh, and uh, but he, you know, if you're unsure, you better bring it out. So with in the second quarter with 4:53 left in the first half, Paris trails Liberty Allo seven to nothing. All right. As all Liberty Allo right. looks to go two and zero, oh. and I uh, love for all the teams in Texas Canada to have success because uh, makes it fun for the playoff season. Gonna, oh yeah. Smith going to be flushed out of the pocket. Uh, and is going to be run out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Great defense by by the Tigers. I'll tell you what, Keith Lewis, he, he lowered his hat and was about to put a lick on him. but uh, I was incorrect on that. It's going to be Luke yeah, Ulrich, Ulrich in at quarterback as they've taken Smith out. I think he hurt his shoulder earlier. You mm -hmm. know, we talked you about that a little that, bit. And, so. and once again, that Tiger defense knocks a quarterback out, and it's going to be Pruitt. It's going to be overthrown by Ulrich, intended for Pruitt. Going to bring what. up third down and long really fast. I'll tell, and this you what, is I'll tell you what you may see right here. I think you're going to see a running play right here. Reason why is there's 56 seconds left. They've got about uh, 74 yards to go, and uh, they don't want to. They don't want to risk the clock stopping. We have no timeouts left. They don't want to risk the clock stopping. I've been wrong before, but going to hand it off. Not and, this and time. No, it's going to. Out pull it, and Ulrich is going to get pounded Ooh. again. Childs is Childs. saying, hey, have you ever met me before? Yeah, I'll tell you. The, uh, <laughs> Let me look, introduce myself. Look like Ian Kreit uh, got in on the on the play. Uh, I think that was him, and uh, and forced him back, and Childs just cleaned it up. Going to let the clock roll here, and they'll call timeout just enough time to get the ball away is there's going to be about 11-second difference in the play clock and the game clock. So it's going to be. Get us close to halftime. Tell you, really, really good half by the Tigers. Up 20, and, and you know, I, I think they're uh, they're not going to go for it, of course, but uh, but they may try to jump, jump us off sides or something. You know, I said about 11-second difference in the play clock and the game clock. 10.8, really. That's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, their, their quarterback, who's going to Princeton, may have known, but uh, – None of us did. Yeah. Well, this is what a college degree will get you, man. Yeah. I can do math now. Yeah. <laughs> Simple math. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a timeout on the field, 10 seconds to go. As we stated at halftime coming up is going to be Chris Sutton and Chris Lyles joining us. And played football here at Texas mm -hmm. High as well as baseball and currently played uh, baseball at Southern Arkansas University. And uh, so looking forward to hanging out with those guys at halftime and spending some time with them uh, as well as we're about to get underway here to finish out this first half as it's been all Tigers really this entire first half as only two big plays that put the 14 points on the board for the Panthers, as you stated earlier, Billy, and as but the Panthers are going to run the punt team on yeah, as we're not gonna coddle. Even, we're not going to risk putting somebody deep mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and risk muffing it and, and them getting some points, but uh, good snap. Going to kick it deep. A really good and kick with a too. really good hang time and let it roll. It's going to let the clock run out as if the referee does his job, he lets it go. And that's going to do it for the first half as the Texas High Tigers lead 34 Man. to 14 going into the locker room. And if you're Texas High, you got to be pleased with that performance to put as many points on in the first half as you did the entire game Absolutely. last week. Absolutely. Folks, Absolutely. Here, we're going to take a commercial break. And then when we come back, we will have – the Chris Show, coming up at halftime. A shield against the elements. Comfort in the midst of chaos. Shelter in the aftermath of destruction. For 75 years, Shelter Insurance has remained true to our promise to be there when you need us most. This is the heartbeat of our company, our why. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. In Arkansas, see Brian Bolt for a free insurance review. Here at Texarkana College, it is our mission to advance. All right, let's get real. We do things differently at Texarkana College. 
We understand the real world and we know how to prepare our students. Whether you're starting right out of high school or starting over, there is something for everyone at Texarkana College. Learn more at texarkanacollege.edu. Looks like the Tiger Band is going to go first tonight. Usually that's not the case. So we're going to delay that uh, halftime show until later on. You're going to get to watch the Tiger Band tonight, and we don't want to take that away from you. So we hope you enjoy the show, and uh, good luck to our Tiger Band this year. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's our first broadcast of the year, and so sometimes we get things mixed up. So as the Colleyville band is getting prepared to play tonight and it looks like their drill team is going to go as well, we're going to switch to our halftime show. Joining me in the booth right now is Chris Sutton, a uh, graduate here at Texas High. Chris Lyles had to go downstairs for just a second. He'll be back up. But, man, welcome to the, to the show. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank yeah, you. glad that you could be here. Hey, you uh, – how about those Tigers tonight? Hey, they're looking good. They like to have some uh, explosive players. Number 13, he's having a really good game. Yeah. And uh like to have really good options at the running back position. And defenses, they're tightening up. So you played for Coach Stanford. Uh, was it one year or two years? Um, two years, I believe. Two years. And uh, so what was Coach Stanford like to play for? I know that you <laughs> came in and it was a, a rough time a little bit. And then, uh, you know, what was it like? No, Coach, Coach Stanford was a great coach to play yeah. for. He always came in with the energy, and he had high expectations, and you had to live up to that. And so I love that he had high expectations. And uh, so joining us now as well is uh, Chris Lyles, also known as Nugget to uh, everybody <laughs> here uh, in Texarkana. So welcome to the halftime show, man. Appreciate you guys coming up. So Appreciate you for having us. And uh, so we were just talking about Coach Stanford, and you played with Coach Stanford, and uh, – Man, you guys had a great run. I, I saw some memories from when we played at um, at the Star, if you remember playing in the Star. What was that game like? You remember that big shootout? I, I think that was your last game. Was yeah. that y'all's last game? No, that was our junior year. Junior year. Was yeah. it a loud night? Was it a loud day? Yeah, it was loud. <laughs> it was it was cool though to see all the people to come out and support us though, especially from both for both teams. It was mm -hmm. so many people there. It was fun though, it was electric. Yeah. What you don't realize is you played in front of Jerry and Stephen Jones that day. So yeah. The owner of the Cowboys. And so um, he probably had NIL deals going before we ever had <laughs> NIL. So, go ahead. so, But speaking of NIL, I know you guys don't have a deal yet, and I know you're looking for one, right? So I would <laughs> take hope so, one. yeah. yeah so, I'll take so you one. guys are playing at SAU Baseball. Man, what a season it was last year. I have the privilege of working with you guys, and it's a lot of fun. Sutton, we'll go with you first. What, what was that run like last year as you went to the World Series and enjoyed that time? The run was actually, it was, it was kind of magical. It's like the pieces fell into place just perfectly. It's, we, we caught heat at the right moment and things fell into place, and we really just kept going as a team, and it, it was great. Yeah. So, Lyles, you, you, t you uh, had a great season last year, and you didn't start the first of the year. And then about, I guess, about halfway through the year, got to, got to your opportunity. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that and uh, maybe those that are listening, just that transition from high school to college sports and what that was like for you. Um, I think the hardest thing for me was just being patient because I've never not really just played before and it was kind of different. But 
Um, patience, honestly, just staying patient and trusting God, really, and just keep going through the process, trusting the process, trusting your teammates to make you better and your coaches, and just really buying into the program and your teammates, and that's what really helped me get on the field, I feel like. And then you ended the year at the Great American Conference Championships, being the MVP of the championship. Yeah. And uh, so congratulations on that. And I know it's a team effort, but uh, sometimes those individual accolades going, hey, it's been all worth this hard work. So. <laughs> yeah, I was I was proud for sure. Yeah. So talk a little bit about, you know, we were, we were talking about early in the broadcast, Billy and I were about the workouts that we talk about here at Texas High and transitioning that to uh, to college. And we, we've talked a little bit about that privately, but w how big a transition was that for you or because you were prepared here, did that help you in college? Um, I think we were very prepared coming out of high school just because the high standards that I spoke of earlier, um, we had a weight room uh, routine we stuck to in high school and kind of transitioned over into college. I'd say the main, main difference as from a player standpoint is yep. that uh, in college it's more so no one's holding your hand. It's mm -hmm. you got to mm -hmm. get there, take care of your business yourself, and mm -hmm. make sure you get that done. That and you got to, like you said, you're, nobody's holding your hand. You got to hold yourself accountable. Nobody's there to tell you, hey, do this, hey, do that. Mm -hmm. Like you're counting your own reps. You're making sure you're doing everything right. And the thing is, when we were in high school, nobody counted the reps for us. Nobody. We were expected to hold each other and as teammates. Like if he wasn't doing his reps, I'm like, hey, no, do your reps, do all of them. I'm doing all of them. You're gonna do all of them, and if if not more. Mm -hmm. So, I felt like the transition was easy for easier for us because we had high standards here, like you said. Yeah, yeah. So. The biggest thing, you know, we've talked about, too, as far as baseball is concerned, is just that team effort that you have to have in collegiate sports or it doesn't work. And so uh, you, you talk a little bit about that as far as from high school to college. I mean, it, it was a big jump for you guys, you know, understanding and having that high standard. And uh, so, man, congratulations to you guys this year and uh, on a great season and uh man it's are you looking forward to this year i mean we got nearly everybody back i say we because i'm part of you guys so, <laughs> so SAU, everybody's coming back and uh so you play what position at sau right now uh i play second base second base and i play outfield outfield anywhere in outfield right yeah, yeah. i play <laughs> so all of them <laughs> plays all i of play them. mostly left field but i can play all of them so who's faster between both of you is that a question? Yeah, I'll give that. I'll give that. <laughs> I say he's faster. I'm I'm quicker. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Okay. He is quicker than I am. Yeah. Well, I will tell you, I saw some great athletic plays this year, and it was pretty special by both of you, including the backflip after the super regional win. So <laughs> how special was that win in the walk off fashion? I don't uh, even remember doing it. I, I like, yeah, like celebrating. I don't remember none of that. I just remember after the fact when we were taking pictures. I was like, did we just get done celebrating? <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. So it's been a fun year for you guys. Man, congratulations on a great year. Good luck this next season. And, uh, folks, we're going to turn it to the field as the Texas High High Steppers and Texas High Band get ready for halftime.
We are excited to announce here at Texarkana Emergency Center and Hospital that we have expanded our capabilities to better serve our community. As a hospital, we have the capability for inpatient services. After your outstanding emergency care, we can smoothly transition you into one of our new inpatient rooms that have telemetry monitors in every room to continue your concierge medicine care. While our patients continue receiving their care in their inpatient suites, we also make sure that your loved ones are taken care of with our outstanding facilities. Our added services include a procedure room and also the capability of MRIs. With our imaging, we are able to offer outpatient, inpatient, and emergency room, MRI, CT, ultrasound, and x-ray. We are honored by your support and look forward to serving all your future medical needs. Providing excellent customer service while keeping everyone safe is a top priority here at State Bank. We are making your banking experience safer and easier with our new curbside banking program. Almost anything you need to do inside the branch can now be accomplished with curbside banking. Need to open an account, pick up a debit card, or hands-on help with mobile banking? Just pull into a designated curbside spot, call the number on the sign, and a State Bank team member will come assist you quickly. We are excited to bring you this convenience and are thankful to serve you. Your family, your bank, State Bank.
Welcome back to Tiger Stadium at Grimm Park where your Texas High Tigers lead. 34 to 14. 34 to 14. The scoreboard is uh, a little bit different tonight because they've had some issues with it. And so uh, Charles was telling me, he said, hey, it's going to be different. Just be patient with us tonight. But uh, Eric Aiken along with Billy Lavender tonight. Brian Bolt will be back hopefully next week, be back in the saddle. And uh, But we're really excited to have Billy uh, in the booth mm-hmm. with us tonight along with Zach Decimal Doty uh, <laughs> as well. But, man, what a first half by the Texas man. High Tigers. And uh, you couldn't ask for a better half. I mean, there's a little miscues. Sure. But this early in the year, the half that they're having, and uh, if they hit 50 points, mm-hmm. that's a pretty big number to hit this early in the year. Man, Offense I, looked really good. I'll tell you, I don't care if we hit any more points as, as long as they don't put any more on. And, uh, and, and you know, the, the good thing is, is it looks like we played a, a pretty clean game as far as injuries. And, uh, you know, I know it looks like their quarterback – uh, maybe gimped up a little bit, and it looks like number one for them. Uh, Ulrich is is warming up down there. I hadn't seen uh, their their starter, but uh, but you know defensive line getting to him, and and you know I think it was Childs that uh, that when he kept it, Childs chased him out there and and put a lick on him, uh, and he came up a little bit gimpy. But uh, but you know offense is playing really really clean, and uh, and defense is is very very aggressive tonight, which was good to see, and. Uh, uh, and man, I'm I'm expecting a really good second half. But you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of times we don't give John Jack, Riley Barron, Richard Jackson, Gabriel Gaines, Evan Holman, those guys that are up front. You know, the the big boys, as I call them, we don't give them a lot of love uh, because they're not touching the ball and scoring. But uh, but man, they make they make you tick. And I, what I notice is they weren't getting a, a big push. Uh, early on, but uh, but then you know you can tell they've had great conditioning and uh, and just uh, you know from the coaching staff from coach uh, coach Stanford on down uh, and down to Jeremy Harrell, uh, it's just one of those deals. And as we see Fields of Faith uh, up on the scoreboard, uh, shout out to them <laughs> and uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, Fields of Faith going. is coming up a little bit earlier this year here in Texarkana. Going to be September 28th, the same day as C at the Pole will be that morning. Fields of Faith that night be it back over. At Pleasant Grove uh, starts at uh, 7 p.m. First thousand get free chicken express mm. as every year. Appreciate uh, the Doties uh, for being a part. No relation to Zach Doty, <laughs> but uh, re- appreciate Rick Doty for uh, man. Li- lives change at that, yeah, and uh, that. and and man, if if you're listening and uh, and your kids talking about that, uh, it, it's a it's a big deal, and uh, and Eric's the head of that. So here we go, Texas High Tigers entering back on the field for the second half. As the, I don't know if it's the flag squad or what they call this this group flag down here. Flag runners. Flag runners, but man, they do a great job running 100 yards, dragging a flag. That's called like running with a parachute. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, especially when the wind's blowing a little bit. But uh, my wife is instructing me. It's the cheer escort. Well, they are runs. the cheer escorts. Yeah. That's that's right. They're, they're running the flags, but uh, and but then we got some look like the Oklahoma Sooners trying what, to do something, what, and they. Yeah, I've seen them down there. Uh, just like the Sooners, yeah, they're kind of lost. Yeah. They don't know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. <laughs> but, uh, but man, I, you know, I was talking with uh, with our guys. They got a big train horn as well, and uh, and that thing is loud that they have. And I said, look, here's the thing: is you don't like you don't like a big train horn like that on the other side when they're scoring, but you don't mind it when they're not scoring because you don't hear it near as much. And and that's what we got. They had two uh, big chunk plays. Looking back at that first half, and uh, and the defense. Defense really, besides letting them get behind them a couple of times, just looked like one time was miscommunication, and uh, and now uh, we're going to have to kick to them in the second half. So uh, so look look for defense to to step up now. So the Panthers will get the ball uh, here in the uh, second half, as it's going to be once again Francisco Perez teeing it up for the Tigers as we've been getting the second half here at Tiger Stadium. Tigers lead 31 to 14 as we begin here waiting on the kickoff. I'm looking for uh, number six, Weston Smith, on the sideline just to check on him. I don't know if it's precautionary, but like we said, his arm was hurting. He was kind of moving it's it like around some over shoulder, there. Shoulder, mm-hmm. maybe. Because uh, he landed on that shoulder with child's weight on it. Uh, that's not a good combination. Kick is up, and it's going to be a shorter kick fielded at the nine yard line. Oh, hold And it's going to be a. Going to be a great return uh, by 
the returners. It's going to be number 28 on the return, and that is going to be Nathan Critchfield. Man, I'll Damn. tell you, Mother Shed, Michael Mother Shed over here uh, had him in the hole and uh, was just getting getting ridden and hailed, uh, you know, but, uh, but you know, Here's the thing. They're at the they're at the thirty nine, and uh, and and we need to settle down. And 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 it is. It's uh, it's Ulrich coming out. Yeah, Ulrich will be the quarterback along with uh, Kelcher as at going to hand it off to Kelcher up the middle as we mentioned his name. Going to get a gain of five on the play, second down and five. And if you're coming out and you're the Panthers, you look to be running the ball a lot in this second yeah. half as Ulrich hasn't. Uh, with timing of receivers, he doesn't seem as calm in the pocket as Smith does. And and here's what I'll, I'll wait till this play's over. Busted play there, Miss Ooh. Reed, and uh, here here's what here's what passing the ball every down does is if you're moving the ball downfield, it's not bad. If you're not moving the ball downfield, it it doesn't take you real long, especially as quick as they run a play to run three plays and be out, and your defense is really really tired. So it's going to bring up third down and five back to pass as Aldrich gets a quick out uh, to number 45. Going to be a flag on the play where he threw his hat, looks oh. like. Don't know what the deal was on that. I think it's when a, a, somebody goes out of bounds out of bound, on yeah. that. So um, going Marks, to be a first down for the Panthers. Marks him ineligible, but it might not have been that receiver. So going to bring up first and ten for the Panthers inside of Tiger Territory. Ball at the 46-yard line. Orwitz is going to fake the handoff back to pass, and uh, they're sticking with their uh, offense. You can't do a good job, Ian. No, 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 yeah. no, no. No, he – He bailed off of the play, and they're yeah. going to throw a flag anyway because once you lose your helmet, you're supposed to get out of the play. Man, and but, he did. He peeled off. Let's see if they wave that off. Yeah, so we're going to – Hey, so Ian Kreitz's helmet came off in pursuit, and he peeled off to not go after him, and they're going to call an unsportsmanlike penalty. Wow. Look at Coach Stanford. He and Coach Stanford's telling this uh man, he's got every right to be yeah. Boy, I tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and watch that one and that, that's a that's yeah. not a very good call right there because uh he was ten yards behind him and uh, his helmet came off and he peeled off out of the play to not chase him. So with the result of the play and the penalty gonna put him deep in Tiger oh, territory. Alex and it's Hines, he's having a heck of a game and uh, and being physical in there and he's put on not not only is he, he put on a knee brace, but he's put on a little weight and he's 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 manning up tonight. So Alex Hines comes out of the game, going to be first and 10 ball at the 19-yard line of the Tigers as that defense looks to stiffen their neck and uh, stop this this drive by the Panthers. Back to passes Ulrich. He's going to overthrow his man in the end zone. Pass is intended for Pruitt. Yeah, good coverage back there by C.J. Brown. Stayed with the receiver, and uh, he just couldn't find the ball. So going to bring up third down and nine on the play. Ball is once again at the 19-yard line. As for those of you just joining us, starting quarterback Smith is out of the game and Ulrich is in for the Panthers. And we wish Smith nothing but the best. Just a little shoulder in here. It looks like, looks like more like a tweak. So maybe it's precautionary reasons. And uh, Ulrich gets hit as he releases it. And uh, pass is intended for Sogan. And uh, Ulrich is going to field that one tomorrow. Got a little field, Mike. I like it. Yeah. So Roberts looked like he might have been holding his arm as well a little bit uh, as he got pounded on that play. Going to bring up fourth down and nine on the play. Looks like they're going to go for it. And uh, going to fake the handoff. Back yeah. to pass, overthrows his man, and the Good ball's going to go over on downs. And so Texas high. And what, what happens on a, when a quarterback gets hit like that, it forces him to release the ball a little quicker Absolutely. on the next play, and that's, it gets antsy in that pocket when Absolutely. you've been hit. You know, we saw one by Cody early that they had an open receiver on a, on a middle screen pass, uh, and just guy was in his face and everything, and that's, that's a deal. It uh, looks like Hawk and them are, are sending, uh, sending guys and, uh, and, and keeping him off balance. So we're going to bring up first and 10 for the Tigers. Ball is at the 19-yard line. Their own 19-yard line going to bring in, uh, looks like it's going to be Trent Kelly, in the Trent Kelly in the backfield, as well as Dangerfield, Gray, and Hall. Going to be Trent oh, nice and uh, going to cut it back to, these, to his right. 
How about that pancake by Gabriel Gaines uh, on the line? And uh, Trent just went right around it. He said he looked like he poured out a little syrup on him as he as he went around him. And, uh, and Trent gets, you know, three or four yards. Looks like three. I got a video from one up in uh, Dequeen. I don't know if you've seen that video uh -huh. of kid pancakes, and then he starts swimming on him. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'll show it to you here in a little bit. I had a coach send it to me. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to hand it off once again to Trent. Oh, Trent's going to bounce it over yeah. off the left side, excuse me, the right side of the deep offensive line and going to have a gain of, look, going to call it four, going to bring up third down and three on the play. You know, I said Trent's not very tall, but he's got that low center of gravity and, uh, and able to really stick his foot in the turf and make some uh, jump cuts, and, uh, and that's, that's something that really, really helps him out. Third and short, that's what you want. See what we can do with it. You know, another thing is we've got two running plays and we're running that clock. Yeah, so going to bring up third down and three on the play. Tigers lead 34-14 to 14 here in the second yeah. half. And you got a man open. It's going to be T.J. Gray. And there was a little bit of hole in there on that play. Uh, defending on that play is going to be uh, number seven, John Sluter. Pretty good defense, too. Pretty good coverage uh, running man-to-man. -man. And, and he did he did reach out and kind of maybe got a little tug. But uh, I like the play, and I like the shot. Try to get seven points quick. So going to bring up fourth down and going to send in uh, the punter who is going to be other than Seth Trusty. Yeah, the old Trusty back there, and they're putting uh, putting shoes. our man Jonathan K back uh, to return. Ball's going to go over his head. Kick it out of bounds. And he Kick is it out. going to be that's good. That's all right. brought down outside the end zone, and that's going to be a safety for the special teams of the Panthers. Well, Shatez Wilkerson's down for the Tigers. Uh Miss Carla and Forrest, good trainers for Texas High, and looks like uh, Dr. Mitchell's headed out to to check on him. And I'll tell you what, there is none better than man. our training staff here man. at Texas High. No they doubt. do a phenomenal job. I think Coach Stanford's one of the first ones out there, and just they're helping him up. I'll good. tell you something about Stanford. I've seen him on the sidelines, and a kid from the opposing team gets injured on their side. He's the first Someone, one I mean, out there. And he's out there. Mm -hmm and calming that kid down, and they're on the way, just, just relaxing the mm -hmm. kid. I mean, he is all about – he's one of the best people about kids, no matter what team that they're on. And uh, so – We got a safety, and uh, but but good job by Trusty back there. And, and like I said, I was, I was hoping he just kicked it out of bounds, but that I think that would have been a penalty or whatever. But he, he gets the ball and gets tackled out of the end zone, and, uh, and they're, uh, Colleyville's going to get uh, – Going to get two points, make it 34-16, to 16, and we're going to have to kick the ball off to him. Looks like he might have gotten cut on that play Is there. Is that what it was? I think okay. that's what happened. There. It's like so. a rat, a rat limbage. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going to give it to uh, – it looks like they're going to give it to Perez yeah. and let him kick it. So the ball will be from the 20-yard line instead of your regular 40-yard line. So this will be obviously a returnable ball. How about our guys, the Arkansas Razorbacks from across the way, the little Razorbacks, as I call them, up 40 to nothing over Pine Bluff Dollarway at the half. That's yeah, huge. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Congratulations about, Congratulations to those guys. Yep, new coaches staff over there, and, uh, you know, always wishing them well, alma mater. So it looks like New Boston's taking care of Queen City 47 to 13 in the third quarter. Good kick. Ball's going to be fielded at the 26 yard line. As Ooh. We just got to learn to wrap up yep. on. That's the biggest thing on special yep. teams is just wrapping up. We got big hits. Yep. We got to wrap up. Going to be returned by number 28, Nathan Critchfield, as he's had a good night as a returner. Yeah. Jason Hubbard puts that shoulder in him and, and knocks him back, and then some others clean it up. So. Like to see him. Like to see him putting a shoulder into him, not not messing around with that hat helmet, and uh, and and lowering their their hats on on anybody. But uh, but but like like you said, wrap up. So going to be Ulrich bringing his team back out. Number thirty three, Colin Bennett, a freshman in at running back. And so going to zone read that, hand it off. Huh. He's going to pull it, and he's going to wow, go right down fast. the middle. And he is very fast. And he's going to score, and that's going to make this a new ball game, mm -hmm. Billy. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, another chunk play uh, for the for the 
visitors uh, from Colleyville Heritage. And, uh, man, it, I'm telling you, they're right back in the game. Probably, you know, it looks like they're going to try to tack on an extra point and make it 34 to 23. It's going to be Zerk. Zerk, excuse me. Zuckert coming in to you kick the extra point. You heard me. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Z is God here. God bless you. <laughs> So I had I didn't have trouble with it in the first nope. half. So, nope. and that's that train horn we didn't want to hear. But uh, but now that you know now we're going to get the ball. And boy, I, I'll tell you, you know, Coach Stanford and and Hawk are down there talking with some players. And and what you want to see is you want to see us settle down, settle back, get get back to playing our game. And you know they've scored on three chunk plays. It's it's not uh, it's not something that they've. Just shoved it down our throat. It's something that, uh, you know, we just missed a tackle or, uh, you know, missed a cutback or something like that. Well, I think he read the wrong way and he stepped outside. Yeah. So with 824 left here in the third quarter, Texas High still leads 34 to 23. We'll be back after this short break. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. And we are back as we wait for the kickoff here in the third quarter after the Colleyville Panthers score. Scores 34 to 23 in favor of the Tigers with 824 left. Good left-footed boot right there. So that's what we were talking about pregame. They've got three kickers on the roster. So it's pretty special for mm -hmm. a high school team to have three yeah. kickers. Really good, uh, really good tackle by Hayden Goldman uh, for the visitors and uh, and Brandon Childs uh, on that return. It was Brandon Hall, uh, not was Brandon, Brandon Childs. Hall, I'm sorry. Because if sorry. Childs was returning, it, that's pretty dang special. <laughs> yeah, and he probably wouldn't have gotten hit that hard either. That's right. Uh, that's right. People have been bouncing off of him. <laughs> so I think that was a misread by the defensive line a while ago as we saw yep. Hawk talking to a couple of the players, like you stated. So uh, they'll get that cleaned up. Yep. It's early in the year. And, uh, I mean, a couple of the guys have never – they haven't played in a couple of years due to injury. A couple of guys have never played varsity ball, so it's going to be good. Cody oh, Reese nice. is going to hit Lucky Brandon here. Hall. And you he is wide running. open. Ooh. And he's got a man chasing him down, and he's going to break the tackle. Oh. Going to be inside the 10, brought down at the seven-yard wow. line. What a huge play by I'll Brandon tell you Hall. What, it was a nice, nice uh, slant. Nice slant, and uh, and Cody put it right where uh, where he wanted, and he had to go up to get it. And uh, once he did, he was gone. And I'll tell you, that guy made a great play to get back to him. Uh, you got 19. Uh, Taquan Williams. It's been uh, a long right time since I've seen a receiving core like Texas High Man, has this year. Like, I'm telling you. There's three of them that can take it to the house Man. any game. This offense is going to be special this year, folks. And it's early, and the playbook hasn't even really opened up yet. So going to hand it off to the freshman ball up the middle. He brought and down by Kayvon Connor. Really good tackle in the interior. Boy, well, man, we got some fireworks going here in the third quarter. Right. So apparently, the odd quarters yeah. <laughs> are have the fireworks. So we're going to bring up second down and goal. Ball is at the seven yard line. That got me out of my seat. <laughs> I'm getting comfortable. Yep. So. Lady Reese going to fake the hammer. He's going to oh, hand it great. off to the to ball, and ball is going to take it down man. inside the five. I'll tell you. Looks like they're going to mark him out at the four yard line. I'll tell you what, oh, uh, oh, TJ, boy, he had a great crackback block and just put he pancaked his man, and uh, he's been doing that all night. And uh, and I, I see uh, I see Shtez Wilkerson down here hobbled up, and he gets off the off the uh, off the bench and, and is running down here, and he's trying to he's trying to show Coach Wilson he's ready. Yep, gotta love it. These guys, they get to play this game. Third and goal from the four. Third down and goal. It's ball is at the four yard with a 7.22 left here in the third quarter. It's going to be a quarterback keeper around the right side. Oh, Cody. And yeah. It's going to be, it looks like it was number number 55 tried to pick him, him up. Evan Pushing. Holman tried yeah. to pick him up and take him in, yeah. but uh, just couldn't quite do it. It's going to bring up fourth down on the play. Looks like we're going to, we're going to field goal. Got field goal. 
Yeah, this early in the year, you got to get your field goal kicker some chances, mm-hmm. some opportunities mm-hmm. uh, in a game like this. And so they're going to jog on us. Pilgreen's going to go in as a deep snapper. Perez back to kick it. Cody Dude. Reese is going to hold it. No, you're up 11, and, and a field goal puts you up two scores. So Just so you know, the quarterback is the holder. Uh-oh. So I'd like to see one of those over-the-shoulder – Kick is up, and it is no good as it is going to be wide right. And so we've got ourselves a new ball game, you. six and a half minutes left here at Tiger Stadium. See old Mo, old momentum's changing. You see those hats on the other side. You won't see as many people grabbing their hips, uh, and, and, the, and the defense is going out there, and they're saying, hey, let's settle back down and do our thing. Merriman out there, he's trying to get the defense fired up once again in order to do what they're supposed to do, and everybody's on the same page. I'll tell you a name we didn't call much tonight, and that's Grissom, and yeah, I look for him yeah. to make some big plays right here because like that defensive it. line is so good. And you see Wilkerson's back out there. He's a little bit hobbled up, but uh, he's, he can give it his all. Ian Kreit is pursuit from the backside, but uh, going to have a big chunk there as they're going to get outside, make it a first down and gain of – I'm going to call it uh, 17 on the play. Man, I'll tell you what, Hines, he made the play, you know, that far downfield and, uh, and his really good pursuit by him and making that tackle. And he brought the pain. Yep. So we're going to bring up first and 10. Ball is at the at the 43-yard line. Oh. Is going to be flushed out of the pocket and have to get rid of it as Ulrich is running for his life and, back there. And a really good job to get rid of it and, uh, and you know, not lose yards. Uh, Coach Stanford's wanting to. I tell you what, if Smith doesn't get to go the rest of the year, this Ulrich kid is going to be Man. special for them because all he, of a sudden his legs yeah. make him a threat. Yeah, he's a junior and he can flat fly. You saw yep. that. And most of their skill oh. positions. Oh, oh had it in and out of three hands and couldn't quite do it. Dang, yeah. boy. Seven's trying to sell it because he's like, man, I've been burned twice. Can I get this one right here? Yep. Got a little cramp. So 91, Orlando Barnes will come in. Yeah, Merriman's going to come in. And, uh, yeah, he's calling for force now. Like, hey, yeah, I get, need some pickle juice. I need some salt tablets, yeah. pickle juice. Ulrich is going to roll out to his right. And uh, it's going to be pursued. Fast. And he's going to be fast. Oh. You don't want him to get loose. Yeah, he's going to have a hold right here. Is it either yeah. a hold or an illegal man downfield? Yep. But yeah. he didn't. He didn't. Uh, he didn't throw it. So I don't think it can be that. I don't think that uh, if it's against them, he's going to decline it and take yep. the down. Brings up fourth down. There you go. That's what I yep. said. He he threw that flag and uh, and the ball wasn't thrown and uh, and they had to wave that off. So it's fourth and six and they're going to go for it. Fourth and six may look for a uh, quick kick here, or trying to draw them off sides. This is a bold move in the, where the field position is. Yep. Yep. He oh, tried man. to get him. Oh, ball, ball, oh, He ball. lost the ball. And uh, yes, that's going to be huge for yes, the Tigers. That's, that's going to be from fourth and six, okay. and it's going to be first and ten inside look, the 25-yard hey, line. He, what, what he's thinking is, is that guy jumped, and all that guy did was move. He didn't yep. actually jump forward, and they snapped the ball, mm-hmm. and they weren't going to do that. Uh, and and they, so uh, so it's our ball. you got to call his name, Ian Crite, on the great Crite, play right there. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, they called that flag on Ian a while ago. He gets a gets a unsportsmanlike penalty flag on on his helmet coming off and him doing the right thing. And so I, I, it just uh, – just and it, it has been three big plays tonight in order for the, for the Panthers to have the success that they've had. It has not been big drives for them whatsoever. Cody Reese on the quick out go. to T.J. Gray, and he's going to be brought down immediately, uh, but not after a gain of four on the play. Call it five. I think what's going to, you know, is is we're just going to start slinging it out there and getting some guys in some space, and, and we hadn't done that to T.J. yet, but if if they're going to want to play seven, eight yards off the, off the line, then, then that's what we're going to do. So second down and five, ball is at the 20-yard line of the Panthers as the Tigers look look to push this one in to extend their lead with five minutes left here in the third quarter. You can see they're playing two yards off of uh, B. Hall. Got one-on-one on on the other side, but going to throw it over to T.J. Gray. 
And uh, uh, there's going to be yeah, some pushing in seven. You know, it, it looked early on like Cody way overthrew him, and you see that flag come in, and you know that TJ would have gotten there if he, had he not been checked at the at the eight yard line. They're they're trying to say that the ball is uncatchable, is what they're saying. Let's see what they do. One on one over here for Dangerfield is what. Gosh. It was uncatchable because the guy held him and kept him away from it. <laughs> That's okay. Stanford agreed with that call. So we're going to bring up third down and five on the plate. That makes one of us then. <laughs> Anything not in favor of the Tigers you're against. <laughs> well, right? I'm not saying that. So third down and five with Kelly in the backfield. Down territory. Reese is going to hand it off. Ah, good Kelly's going to cut it back up Another inside. It's going to be Look five inside the five yard line. Call it the three yard line. Trent says, first and the, 10, first and goal for the Tigers. Give me the dang ball. Two good cuts on that. Look at him. He said, Come back at me. Feed Roll me, coach. Again. Feed me. <laughs> 10 personnel, they're calling yep. it. Tiger. Put a tight end in and bring a, bring yep. a receiver out. Cody's. Cody's either giving the Lane Frost out there, or asking the crowd to quieten down. <laughs> Lane Frost. Isn't that what it was? I don't know. Throwing it back. Yeah, you're going way back, way back. So. Way back like four flats on a Cadillac. Yep. yep. Going to hand it off to Kelly once again, and he's going to get it inside oh, no. the five. Oh, and no. uh, he looks like he is hurt. Man, that was that was a non-contact when he when mm -hmm. he cut. Oh, come on, Trent. Oh, so no. It looks like a knee. Yep. Folks, with that injury, we're going to take a timeout with 358 left here in the third quarter. Tigers lead 34 to 23. Here at Texarkana College, it is our mission to advance. All right, let's get real. We do things differently at Texarkana College. We understand the real world, and we know how to prepare our students. Whether you're starting right out of high school or starting over, there is something for everyone at Texarkana College. Learn more at texarkanacollege.edu. A shield against the elements. Comfort in the midst of chaos. Shelter in the aftermath of destruction. For 75 years, Shelter Insurance has remained true to our promise to be there when you need us most. This is the heartbeat of our company, our why. Shelter Insurance. For your auto, home, and life. In Arkansas, see Brian Bolt for a free insurance review. And we're back as Kelly Trent Kelly gets up and literally he has hopped He's on going one faster leg faster than I can for, go on one leg going down to the training table for literally about seventy -ball. yards. Touchdown, Touchdown ball! Touchdown Tigers! Yes, sir. Boy, great blocking on the offensive line. You hear our horn going off, and that's that's. That's what I wanted to hear in the second half. And, uh, and man, that offensive line just made some good blocks. And, and T-Ball finished it off at the goal line. And Trenton, Trenton Kelly got us there. And, uh, and, man, I hope he's okay. Yeah, looks like his mom and dad are down there checking on him. And so here we go. Perez on the point attempt after. Kick is up. Right down the and pipe. And the kick is good. And so with 342 left here in the third quarter, Texas High takes the extends their lead 41 to 23. Folks, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back after these messages. We are excited to announce here at Texture County Emergency Center and Hospital that we have expanded our capabilities to better serve our community. As a hospital, we have the capability for inpatient services. After your outstanding emergency care, we can smoothly transition you into one of our new inpatient rooms that have telemetry monitors in every room to continue your concierge medicine care. 
While our patients continue receiving their care in their inpatient suites, we also make sure that your loved ones are taken care of with our outstanding facilities. Our added services include a procedure room and also the capability of MRIs. With our imaging, we are able to offer outpatient, inpatient, and emergency room, MRI, CT, ultrasound, and x-ray. We are honored by your support and look forward to serving all your future medical needs. We're back here at Texas High as they kick it off and gonna be fielded at the one yard line. And once again, our special teams are struggling to wrap up. And again, who, who made the play? It's the guy that scored the touchdown, T-Ball. Yeah, T-Ball on the, on, the on the freshman on the cover there. So here we go, uh, Texas High leading 41 to 23 against a tremendous Colleyville team. So I thought it would be a little bit closer game, but we still got a lot of game left with 333 left here in the third quarter. So I'm going to try to get you a few scores. I know some of you have the app and you're keeping up with it. Also want to thank Chris Sutton and Chris Lyles once again for coming up uh, at halftime to join us. Great young men. Uh, that are having great careers at SAU in baseball. So Allred's back in at quarterback for the Panthers. Going to send five wide as he's going to be flushed out of the pocket. He's got wheels as he scored early. Going to get rid of it, um, but it's going to be great coverage. Really? Josh as, Stewart, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey. Josh Stewart over there. Hey, you got know, his head around. Got his head around, and that's what you got to do. That gives you the chance uh, to, to be the playmaker out there. And, uh, and man, great great coverage right there. And uh, he's got a second 10 coming up for Colleyville. Yep. Getting compliments from uh, Braxton Langdon. I don't wow. know if you know Braxton. Yeah, so, uh, absolutely. And, uh, says oh, good passing catch he says right there. That, he says that we're better than Bolt. Well, I, I mean, that's, that's not really a really good compliment. <laughs> Simone Davis uh, on the catch for uh, uh, for Colleyville right Made there. Made a great catch on that one there. Yep. So here we go. It's going to be third down and four for the Panthers deep in their own territory. Ball is at the 24-yard line. Allridge oh. back to pass. Ooh. Got a quick pass. Yes, and they're going to be broke up by C.J. Brown, Brown. And that's going to bring up fourth down but I'll tell you for what, the Panthers. I'll tell you what, the Tigers – uh, the Tigers sent uh, who was it? it? Sent Donnie Grissom up the middle, and uh, and and it's going to be a, a fourth down and and four four ish four and a half, and uh, and they send out the punter. And great job by the defense right there, three and out. It's going to be Bryce Cottle in the punt for the Panthers. Back deep for the Tigers is going to be ball number thirty-two, as he had a great return earlier in the game, as well as a touchdown, the last touchdown for the Tigers. Play so, clock down at four. So with 2.53 left here in the good third snap. quarter. Good snap. It's gonna be really a good kick. Booming kick. Kicks it high, and ball wisely gets away from it. Ball's going to take a Panther right. roll and going to be spotted down at the 35-yard line of the Tigers Great where the Tiger defense. offense will take over as Cody Reese comes in once again. And he's had a great night tonight along with the receiving core for Texas High. I'm going to go on a limb and say it's one of the best receiving cores in the state of Texas Man, this year. I'm telling you, they, they just, uh, you know, and the thing is, is one of them comes out, they put in another one that can go. So, this I don't think I've seen speed like like they've got on, on all four there. So, a couple of uh, scores around the area, Pleasant Grove trailing, well, excuse me, a final in the Pleasant Grove game as Bird out of Shreveport beats Pleasant Grove 34 to 7. Dang. Queen City gets upended by New Boston 54 to 13. Oh. As Ball breaks a tackle and breaks free Woo. and he's running like the he's wind. wanting to go to the, <laughs> go to the house yeah, and try pressure. to put this game away and is going to cross into Panther territory and Ball is down at the 43-yard line first and 10 for the Tigers. Man, our thoughts and prayers are with Trent Kelly hoping hoping it's not a bad injury. See him putting a little ice on it down there, but uh, T-Ball can he can help us out as a freshman, and uh, and he was running hard right there. So first and ten for the Tigers inside of Panther territory. Ball's going to be batted in the air, yep. 
Unfortunately, going to go out of bounds because that could have been dangerous. Yeah, you know what what happens is 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 you, you throw that too much and uh, and and th they read it and they tell their defensive ends just to get their hands up. But I'll tell you what happens also is you pump that the next time and you may find someone sneaking out of the the sideline for for six. Yeah, so going to be second down and ten after the incompletion by Reese. So we're going to hand it off once again to Ball. Ball's going to go around the oh, left side. Good run. Going to go between the – really it's more of the tight end and off tackle there. Going to have a nice gain of five yards. Going to bring up third down and five as the Tigers continue to run the clock down and getting close to a minute and a half left here in the third quarter. So next week – Looking into next week, Texas High will travel to Benton, Louisiana for a game there. Oh, good pass. So get it out to T.J. Gray. He's going to have enough for the first down and Gotta backs up. It's going to be – he's a tough runner. I'll tell you what, T.J. Gray has grown up tonight for me. Uh, seen him drop a couple of balls uh, early on in the season. And, uh, man, he's, he's put on some pounds in the weight room, and he's blocking, and he's – catching the ball and uh and you know he's finishing off runs as well and he's not easy to bring down and uh man he's just a junior right and uh man i'm i'm gonna see big things from him so I'll bring up oh. gonna hand it off to javarius <laughs> great cut javari johnson as he cuts it back inside and it's gonna bring up He's going to have enough for a first down as he almost broke that one to the pay dirt. Man, I tell you, those big guys up front, we can't give them enough credit. Special shout-out to my man listening to us, Coach Preston. What? Yeah, yeah. My He's, man. Yeah. Praying for you, buddy. We yes, believe sir. in you. Yes, sir. Miss you. Yeah, he'll be back. Oh, great pass so and catch. Right there. Cody Ath Reese to Brandon Hall. Athlete. Man. That's I'll, what that is. I'll tell you. Uh he has, uh, Brandon Hall has uh, has inserted himself in this game early, and uh, he just ca he catches the ball with his hands. Mm -hmm. He doesn't let it, you know, get in his bread basket, as you call it, or whatever, but catches the ball with his hands. And then he turns and, and makes some, you know, finishes some some plays. Cody Reese back to pass. Run it, Cody. Going to run it. Oh. Going to fake his man, but going to be bottled up there in the middle and going to keep driving because that offensive line gets behind him. John Jack there on the push. Yeah, I'll tell and, you. Uh, I was incorrect. That's Briley not Barron. John Jack. That's going to be – that's going to be – uh Briley. Was it Briley Barron yep. and Tristan Rodriguez? Let me tell you, 76 and 78. I'm just going to go and say it. That's some big dudes yeah, right there. Yeah, i tell you what. Cody became a Reese sandwich. Reese's sandwich. Yeah. But that's the end of the third quarter, and the Tigers up. 18, is it? Is my math right? We're going to go with 18. Okay. We're going to go with that. And so with that, that it brings us into the third quarter, headed to the fourth quarter. Tigers lead 41-23 to here at Tiger Stadium. We'll be back after these messages for the conclusion of this game. Providing excellent customer service while keeping everyone safe is a top priority here at State Bank. We are making your banking experience safer and easier with our new curbside banking program. Almost anything you need to do inside the branch can now be accomplished with curbside banking. Need to open an account, pick up a debit card, or hands-on help with a mobile banking? Just pull into a designated curbside spot Call the number on the sign and a State Bank team member will come assist you quickly. We are excited to bring you this convenience and are thankful to serve you. Your family, your bank, State Bank.
And we are back here at Tiger Stadium where we are begin the fourth quarter as the Tigers are looking to punch it in. Third and short for the Tigers. Going to call it one, but I'm going to say about six inches. 18 inches is what we'll call it as we begin the fourth oh, quarter. Going to take it around yes, the sir. end. Yes, sir. He got it and in. It's going to be touchdown, Great job. Tigers. Oh, man, get up, Riley. That a boy. His knee brace came off, so he's trying to get it back together. So, looks like he blew that thing up. Man, I'll tell you, he's a strong individual. But, man, what I'm telling you, here's the thing. They had a bead on uh, Javari Johnson, and, uh, and, man, he took off. And not only did he take off, he was getting – uh, tackled at about the three-yard line. He reaches the ball out. He smelled the goal line and great run and finish by him. Yeah. I just saw Briley come over and, and point that somebody tried to cut him on uh, that play and uh, almost blocked there, but kick is up and kick right is going to be good, and that's going to make it 48 to 23 as Texas High's offense has looked not too bad Let's tonight. Put 48 half a hundred on them. No, we're trying to hang 90. Okay. Texas high by 90, right? Hey, look look, at, look at Hawk, defensive line coach. He come down to, to Cody giving him some love. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what you got to love about him. He's going to be a great head coach one day, I'm telling you. See, we're down to two flag runners. <laughs> <laughs> we worn them out. <laughs> we worn them out. So, in some area scores uh, in, within our district is Sulphur Springs is beating Mount Pleasant 13-9 to nine over in Sulphur Springs. Apparently there's some weather over in with Decab and Allegiant Fields because they're just still getting underway. It looks like got delayed, but Decab is up seven to nothing. And I'll just get ready. That's going to be a special team to watch wow. this year. Woo! They're tough. They're uh -huh. fast on defense, and I think they're going to be really good. Uh, once again, Pleasant Grove, excuse me, Liberty Ilo uh, is beating Paris fourteen to nothing with eight and a half minutes left in the ball game. Hooks leads Cooper in the third quarter, 14 to seven. And Maud is beating New Diana, 18 to 10 at the beginning of the fourth quarter. As we kick off here in the fourth quarter, gonna be fielded at the five yard line. As he oh, has had a, I'm gonna hey, tell you. Hey, who made the tackle? <laughs> the guy that scored the touchdown. That's how it's happened all night. Yep, so Chris Field tries to Returning once again has had a lot of yards on the return, but uh, is brought down and is going to be first and ten. I don't know. 10. That may have been forty-one. I'm sorry. I thought it was four. That was that was forty-one. That was Bustos. That's your boy. Yeah. Yep. Boost. Bustos. Bustos is what he did. He went he went airborne to tackle him too. I'm I'm sorry, my man Bustos. First and ten at the Tiger. Excuse me, at the Panther twenty-eight yard line. Back to passes over. It's going to swing it out uh, to the freshman. Uh, number 33, Bennett. Hines was there to cut him back in, and, and because of it, he only made, you know, a positive two yards. It's going to be second down and eight. And Hines Maybe comes out of the game holding. Looks like he's holding his hand or something. Yeah. So, And we got out of the first half pretty healthy. In the second half, we've had yeah. some injuries here. So going to be a high snap. Going to try to hand it off, but going to be chased from behind is yeah. Ulrich, oh. and he is going to be met in the backfield as they use the sideline to their advantage. Yeah, it's going to be lost. a loss on the play. Lost Brings up third a, and a mile. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, He lost about five, six yards on the play, and it's, it's going to be third and about 14, 13, 14, and uh, not what they wanted to happen. But, yeah, we want, we want our, our guys to get out of here a little bit healthy. Yeah, so going to send freshman in motion, oh, and it's going to be right man. through the hands of number 33, 33 Dowden, as yeah. he just had that. So we were talking about uh, Braxton Langdon a while ago. I want to mm -hmm. congratulate them. They've got a new baby as well, right. so I want to congratulate yeah. them as well yeah. on their new child, and I'm sure he's at home, kick yeah. back, relax, yeah. watching it on the big yeah. screen and holding that baby, <laughs> rocking it to sleep. So I know that's what I'd be doing if I had a new one or a yeah. grandchild came along at some point. You yep. know, got to yep. get girlfriends first. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so. Dowden's had a good night, and he's just a sophomore for the Tigers, playing a lot of underclassmen. So, force a punt from them. That guy's had a good game. Got a good leg. There so you go. Just get rid of Stay away from that's it. That's right. 
to not That's have a bad decision. Got to get girlfriends and get married and then have it. You know, we got to get in the <laughs> right order, go. right? There you so go. There you go. I better clarify that or I have somebody asking me questions. <laughs> Ten twenty-seven left here in the ball game as Texas High takes over. 48 to 23, they lead as the offense is going to run back on the field looking to try to get it to the half century mark or break 50 and try to run some time off the clock. I look for them to run the, the play clock down quite a bit. But at the same time, you've got to get your offense. It's early in the year, and mm-hmm. so them playing four quarters mm-hmm. is a big deal for late in the season. Mm-hmm. Seeing number 14. Who's that? David J. Potter. Coming in at quarterback. Coming in at quarterback. He's a young phenom, big, big, solid kid, and uh, he's just gotten better and better. But I'll tell you, his progression from last year to this year is huge. 6'4", sophomore is David Potter. Going to handle the snap, going to hand it off to Ball. Ball's going to take it up the middle as he's going to have a gain of one, brings up second down and nine. Tigers up 25, 10 minutes, 13 seconds left. Look for a lot of lot of runs. Uh, they may they may let David J just because he's got a cannon of an arm. They may let him throw a couple of times. Uh, going to bring in number 22 at running back. It's going to be Robinson. Yep, he's Zaqu- a senior. Zaquan Robinson. We try to get all these names called as many as our, many as we can, folks. Oh. And so we're trying to help it out. Going to break it outside. Going to be a loss on the play. Let's call it no gain. Going to bring up third down and nine as we keep the play clock. A couple, couple of good cuts, but what I like to see is he hadn't been in all game, but what he did do was he got to the sidelines and he turned it up to stay in bounds to keep mm-hmm. that clock running. So it keeps the clock running inside of nine and a half minutes left here in the ball game. Coach Eric Sutton, uh, who's a brother of – Chris Sutton. Chris Sutton, yep. And uh, and he coaches that, that stable of running backs. He's got – you talk about the stable of receivers, we got a lot of running backs as well. So we're going to have – Potter's going to hand it off once again. Oh, he's going to oh, throw, throw it, it and he's going to get it to TJ. And TJ's going to break it into, Go, the, into the open field. Go, and he's going to break a tackle. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. TJ Tigers. Ray. Wait for the signal. Trying to see it's going to call it out of bounds. They're going to call a touchback oh. as he fumbled it through the end zone oh. as he tried he, to get in. He didn't fumble it till it hit the ground. Yep. I thought his knee was down outside of the end zone, actually, is what I'm – Wow. Mm. What a play. And we don't have replay tonight, so, folks, we, we apologize for that. Yeah, apologize that the refs can't see the replay. <laughs> <laughs> well – Wow. But what a great wow. throw and great catch throw there and by. Catch. David J. Potter to T.J. Gray. Hey, uh, man, it, it, you know, you're going to see that combination next year as well, yeah. both underclassmen. I'm looking down here at uh, mama. Potter's mom and dad, and she's got the camera. She's like, no, I don't think well, so. I, I, I see so. T.J.'s as well. She's going, what did y'all see? Yeah. They're going back. Wow. They're backing it up. Her and and some of the friends down there, they're trying to see it. Like, look at it. Look at it. See if it really happened that way. They're watching the play. You better believe if Dave J got it. Aver's going to have it on film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going to have a penalty flag on the play. Looks like we're going to have a false start on the offense. Man. Going to back it up five yards. Eight fifty-two left in the ball game. I'll tell you, I think they missed that one, but that's okay. Oh, we're going to call offsides, so I missed that. Number 51, getting some of those guys in. Demarion Robertson, hate to call your name on a penalty, but I got your name in the, right. in the broadcast. But uh, He's out there giving it his all. Yes, he is. Be first and 10, going to hand it off once again, and that defensive line is still going to stay just as stingy as they were in the – Uh-oh. as the student section gets Uh-oh. riled up. As it's the tuba song. Is that the tuba song? There ain't no party like a T-high party. Get some film of that. Uh Uh-oh, ball snapped over his head. Great play. Look at that. Ulrich is going to recover. It's going to be a first down as it's Pruitt on the catches. He's got two touchdowns on the night as they're trying to hurry up offense. It'll bring up first down. 
I'll tell you what, they're rocking that student section and band and high steppers and cheerleaders over there. Once the tuba song comes on, it's over. Yeah. I'll tell you something, it's a little loud over there. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that. Good tackle right there by Keith Lewis for the Tigers. Just enjoy, folks. There's um, nothing like high school football in the state of Texas. Brings up third down. Good, good coverage by 41. Is that Bustos? That's him. Old Cruz out there covering across the middle. The receiving core down here is having a little dance party on the sidelines. I'm telling you. It's a big win for the Tigers yes, against a great opponent that was 5A Division I last year, moving down to 5A Division II. Oh, good pitch so, and catch right there. It'll be it's number 45. A, it's a big, it's a big kid. It's yeah. going to be number 45. Simone Davis. Yeah. On the reception. He's a senior. He's going to have a nice catch there. And what I like is the Tigers just keep rotating players in and out, rotating them in and out. We're going to see number zero, C.J. Brown, come mm -hmm. back in the game. He's uh, going to be a bad snap, uh, and uh, the quarterback is going to—he's uh, just going to lay down. Yeah. He's like, oh, and no. his no, he didn't. Oh, that's another one of those mm. non-contact injuries. I think Maybe he just—I think he just Good. got a cramp. Good. Yeah, mm. yeah. You can see him trying to pull that toe up, trying to get that—that that calf muscle to respond and shut down. Man, I'm telling you, you got the you got the cameras on them over there. Great, great camera work yep. by our Tiger Vision slash Game Day crew. And uh, and man, what what a production it is. And you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't you know call uh, uh, Amber Reynolds and uh, and Susan Waldrop and uh, and Courtney Waldrop and just everybody who's got a part. Charles Aldridge. Charles Mr. Aldridge. A. Mr. Doctor. A. I think he's got his doctorate. Did you know that? Good gravy. He really doesn't, but I thought I'd. <laughs> <laughs> you could have fooled him. <laughs> <laughs> no. His uh, brother's sitting up here, and he told me to say that he's got his doctorate. <laughs> so, <laughs> His big brother. <laughs> Dr. A. So, does a great job. 36. And, uh, uh, and, and I'm going to tell you something about Mr. A is he has been a great, not just for Texas High, but the surrounding community mm -hmm. of helping get mm -hmm. other programs off the, off mm -hmm. the, off the ground mm -hmm. uh, as he's done some great things here in our area and in our community. And personally, I appreciate him being involved in FCA and being mm -hmm. involved in our all-star game as well as at uh, Fields of Faith. So Fourth and five. We're down at five. Oh, and, uh, it's going to be great tackle. It's going to be number 45, as it's going to be Simone Davis once again. Yeah. And it's going to be. Man, I'll tell you what, also, also uh, Alejandro Cardenas gets in and gets him some action and, and gets in on that tackle. I'm impressed at your pronunciation. Well, listen, I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a man of many talents or hats or shirts or just <laughs> all depends. So are you headed up the hill tomorrow? Yes, to go sir. To leave at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and go see my boy and get a hug and a kiss and, and maybe uh, maybe hang out at a tailgate and then uh, and watch my hogs play. Uh, my wife is, is – have you ever seen Price is Right where yes, they I go, have. oh, mighty sound effects lady? <laughs> You are the mighty sound effects man. That's what you are. Potter back in at quarterback, going to yeah. hand it off once again to number 22 yeah. on the carry. Going to be Zaquan Robinson. Going to have a nice carry, gain of two. Good push by Pablo Escobar, senior for the Tigers up the middle. And, uh, man, we got some guys out there who, uh, you know, you know, and, and listen, my man Biscuit's in, and uh, and that guy is a warrior. Good kid, good family, and uh, and uh, he's uh, he's battling out there right now. Yeah, number eleven is out there by himself. Uh, Demiri Reese, he's like, hey, I got one on one over here. You can I know throw him, it over here. I know him as Biscuit. Matthew Lingle is his name. Oh, that's uh, all right. Sorry, it's all right. We like nicknames. So, going to hand it off once again up the middle, and uh, it's going to be. A gain of two, going to bring up third down and five after that carry inside, getting inside of five minutes left here in the ball game. And uh, so far, you, it I'll looks really good for us. Here's what you notice. A lot of times 
with five minutes left and you're up 25 and you got some guys in there who don't normally play, you'll see some coaches taking off or whatever. I mean, they <laughs> Coach Stanford's hollering at somebody and Coach Hall. I mean, it, it's uh, they're they're all up and, and cheering for these guys who don't get in all the time and uh, and they want to see them succeed too. Well, because they they're in practice and hitting on each Absolutely. other, you know, and they're working out together and in the weight room oh, together. Man, what a great Ooh. cut by Ball! But he gets met in the hole. Yeah. But the uh, helmet comes off. He catches his helmet, hangs onto the ball, and we got a flag on the play, and yeah. it's fixing to be a bad day mm. for number 26. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So that's going to be a first down, and Stanford could manage the clock well, which he always does. and uh, Get us out of here before, before 10 o'clock. That's huh? right, man. That's right. Uh, that's why we were talking about we love those uh, – my goal is to get out of here by 10. Yeah. So, hey, we've got some uh, some uh, Tiger Vision students that we want to give some shout-outs All right. to. All right. So, Lillian Sanchez is the mm-hmm. tech director. David Mayo, who is a freshman, wow. was on the tight camera angles for us tonight. Yeah. Avery Bullock on the Y camera. Victoria Dean running the Jumbotron feed. And the sideline cameras are Shelby Tubb and Dawson Moser. Nice. Man, they've all done a great job. You. And he was telling me it's an entire new crew this wow. this year. Wow. And they have done a phenomenal job once again because they're trained by none other than the best, Dr. It, a. Dr. A. It's well, he's be, gone from Mr. to Dr. It's, it's still be, two letters. Yeah. It's still two letters. Yeah. yeah. I, that's why I got my master's. I'm like, do y'all call me master now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So going to be All right. carried up the middle by number 25, Joe Miller, Joe Miller. makes an appearance once again. Joe's a, Joe's a junior for, for the Tigers. So here we go. Going to be inside of four minutes at this, this next snap as the Tigers are – looks like they're going to take the win for tonight. Yeah. And uh, I got some – Amari and Reese out, out wide left. When we get down inside of two minutes, I've got some news for you. Oh, breaking news or just news? Could be a little breaking. Okay, okay. It's it's bigger to me than probably anybody else, but I'm gonna give you some. Oh names. my gosh! Yeah, L- live, live on the air. Live on the air. It's coming. <laughs> Your wife's scared over there. Nice. I, I ain't worried about her. So, here we go. Gonna be a loss of two on the play after the carry by by Miller. Mm-hmm. It's gonna bring up third down and nine on the play. Getting inside of three minutes. Robinson checks back in for the Tigers. Timeout, Colleyville? Yeah, it's going to be a timeout for Colleyville. And with that, we're going to take a short commercial break, be probably our final commercial break before the end of the game. We'll be back after these messages. here at Tiger Stadium where with three minutes left here in the ball game. They called Texas, another timeout. Texas they're high. trying to mm-hmm. trying they're to trying to come back or, or they're trying to help us score 50. Well my question is is you got a long ride back to Dallas. Yeah. I don't. I oh. sure don't. I got a <laughs> long ride back over to the house. There you go. <laughs> and we're going to stop on the way because I've already gotten instructions from my wife of where we're going to stop on the way. Nice. What a burger it is. Is that the breaking news? No. No. <laughs> I was just checking. That is not the breaking news. <laughs> breaking news. Crowd starts to file out a little bit. They're they're trying to beat they're trying to beat you to Whataburger. Yep. Crowd satisfied. And folks, I want to say this is that 
I know that COVID is still for some mm-hmm. is a little concern, but man, come back to the stadium. Man. Let's pack this place Let's out go. once again it because was... these kids deserve it. Number one, number two, this team is good, and you need to be involved in supporting these kids. I know you can watch it online. We're thankful that the UIL has allowed mm-hmm. that in the state of mm-hmm. Texas. But really want to encourage you to come out. There's nothing like a kid being able to look up in the stands and see a parent or mm-hmm. a community member supporting them. And so uh, whether it's the football team or the band or anybody, going to have a flag on the play, and ball's going to be down inside the 10-yard at the 8. We'll see what the flag Late is flag on the play. And, and man, what, what a great crowd we had tonight. You know, we got our band and, and all our students and, and uh, cheer squads and everything over at the other side and uh, still had a huge crowd over at this side. Unnecessary roughness on them, so it's going to pick this will be half the distance half the of the goal. Yep. So half the distance to the goal. So it'll be first and ten at probably about the five, four-yard line because it's at the nine, so it'll be at about the four-and-a-half-yard line. Shout out to the defense tonight, man. We were we were a little bit worried uh, what would go on because of their high-powered offense and as many times as they pass it into, uh, you know, they, they gave up three big plays. They, they gave up 21 points. They gave up three big plays. Uh, and uh, You take those two off of the board from the first half, mm-hmm. and it's a blowout. Mm-hmm. And today has been a – I mean, they've played really, really well, mm-hmm. which should, should build confidence. And uh, for Colleyville, I'm telling you, this Ulrich kid can play. He's not a bad football player as he tries to go oh. deep and he gets hit in the end zone. And, hey, who's, who's my man back there covering deep? Bustos. Bustos. He said, I ain't busting out here. Mm-mm. We Bustos. Mm-mm. So, 245 left here in the ball game inside of two. Inside of inside two. Of I'm hoping. Surely they're not going to just. I can't wait. It's got to be big. 48 <laughs> 23. Tigers lead here late in oh, the ball good game. Job. As the clock will continue to run. Good tackle inside right of two there. and a half minutes, and that cramp is really bothering yeah. Ulrich. You good, can tell. Good tackle by Keith Lewis right there for the Tigers. So he's going to need some salt yeah. on the way home a little bit. So inside of two and a half minutes. I'm so glad I go to THS is playing. That's right. That means it's over as well. So we're going to get it out to good pitch and catch. Number, number number eighty. 80. That is uh, Joseph Hillard. He's a he's a junior. <laughs> you just can't help it. I can't can help you. it. You can't help it. So that's going to be fourth down and ten. Should be first and ten. I think yeah. the down marker. He's wrong over there. So oh, good tackle right there. So our windows Bustos. are fogging up on the outside over there. It's inside of two minutes, 48 to 23. It is inside of two minutes. It's inside of two minutes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm not sure. I have yet to call a game at Texas High where we did not win. Wow. Dead serious. Wow. Every game we've lost, we were not calling. It was in the playoffs last year. Yeah. And then last week we didn't get to call it at at and Wow. And we lost so late to Crosby, they, we did not get to call that game. Dang, so, that's awesome. How about that? That's awesome. Keep it, so, keep it going. Yeah. Keep so it we're going to try to keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not speaking it. We're we're going. That's why I waited to inside of two minutes. <laughs> minute 33 left here in the ball game. Sometimes you may have to wait till inside of one minute. To, yeah. And, there uh, you go. Going to be an over three though. It's, those now it'll bring up fourth down. Intended for Pruitt once again, who's had a great night. I mean, he got behind the – he's a great route runner. I yeah. was kind of watching him earlier. and I, can I think that was that. Winkfield back there, William Winkfield on the coverage for the Tigers. Well, we've got to say a lot of names tonight, got a lot of people in. And here's the thing, these, these guys are just as good, you know. You just got to play behind some people sometimes. Yep, yep. Bless you. So bring up fourth down as – Oh, it's oh, on nice the pass, job. and that's going to do it. Bustos on the coverage over there, and the Tigers will take over on downs, and you're going to see the V, the big V, victory formation for the Tigers try to get out of here 48 to 23. That's and before, before 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Well, I'll tell you, 
two things the next two weeks are going to tell us. Benton, Louisiana, mm -hmm. not a bad team whatsoever, mm -hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. And Tiger Legacy yep. coming here. Yep. Those two games are going to let you know where you're at a little that's bit, right. especially the Tiger Legacy game. I think that's going to be more of a test for the Tigers. Uh, but I'm telling you, I like what I see. Uh, I think Stanford, he would say that we're a little bit farther ahead than what he expected mm -hmm. us to be uh, during this year. I'm not putting words in his right. mouth, but no. talking to him preseason to now, I would think he would think that we're ahead of the ball game. So Absolutely. Minute 20 left in the game. Billy, it's been fun Man. to be with you tonight. Man, really nice. I'm glad I got to got to come up here and, and be in your presence again uh and uh and and man you know again uh what mr a does and what uh what morgan and zach and all the all the guys at uh at texarkana game day do to to put on this deal and uh, uh man you know we we can't we can't thank them enough but uh another victory for the tigers and uh and in the first one of the year and i didn't get my TikTok out I'll, I'll release it later on tonight, but uh, wow, but it, yeah, it was a little blurry. I can, uh, I don't know. Come John on, Billy. Thomas. We're we're John Thomas. Yeah, I'm blaming it on him. Makes a 36 I on the know, ACT and he I can't know. do a TikTok. What's wrong I with know. him? I don't know. Maybe he'll learn at Duke or something. <laughs> That's pretty special to make a 36. Congratulations <laughs> to him as well. I was going to say something earlier about that. So I'd love to have him uh, on the halftime show. Well, folks, as the clock ticks down, that's going to do it for us here at Tiger Stadium as Texas High wins tonight against the Colleyville Panthers, Colleyville Heritage Panthers, 48-23. to And on behalf of Eric Aiken and Billy Lavender, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Hopefully we'll see you in Benton, Louisiana. Go Tigers. Have a great weekend.